If I agree that Allah is the God to worship, we will talk about what? Let us see. There's a Muhammadan trying to contact me, maybe. We will see. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm an ex Muslim. Oh, you're ex Muslim. Oh, okay. Because I saw your last name, it's a Muslim name. Okay, well, how I can help you, my friend? Go ahead. Okay, um, I left Islam like uh, back in 2000, 2021. 2021? Yes, uh, February 2021. Okay. Why you left Islam? I watched uh, some of your videos and the uh, videos of uh, Rob Christian and Sam Shimon and uh, other guys, Dave Woods and stuff like that. Okay. And uh, but still, this is not the reason to worry about Islam. Why do you live Islam? There's a lot of reasons, like uh, contradictions in the Quran and uh, mm. and the scientific earth. For example, uh, the sun sets in a muddy pool according to the Quran. Yeah, but this is normal. I mean, don't the sun set every day in the muddy water? No, because uh, um, it says a uh, muddy pool. You know. Yeah, but and, you know. Okay, uh, how we know? How we know? How we know? That the sun not actually really go and take a bath every night at the end of the day in the pool. How you know? Have you ever did you watch a movie like where there's a, you know people jumping in the pool? Okay, the sun jump in the pool. What's the problem? It's unscientific. No, it's not. It's 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 not against science because logically uh, there's a big pool somewhere. You know we do not know where it is. And uh, Zulkar he found the pool. You know, uh, yes. and then. Uh, you know, he found that the son wearing bikini and jump in the water, and she was very beautiful. You know, and uh, this is why the water actually in the ground, you see, water is boiling because the sun jumped there, and that will make the water boil. So even you know, this is where Muhammad got the story from. Yes. Yeah, but this is not enough for you to leave. I mean, don't you know that now you will not get versions? Don't you like to have versions? Be honest with me. I would like to have versions. It would be very nice. Yeah, I'm not I kidding. Know. Yeah, you're not kidding. I know. You know, uh, uh, me too. I like to have version version oil. It's very good. But uh, you know, the, I actually the, not because they are. Uh, you can see through the the marrow of the bones, and that's not uh, attractive. Ah, uh, you are not like the kind of men they like bones. Uh, they, they, because well, they but there is some men. Or... There is some men they like bones. You know, like a woman. Uh, like you know, uh, when you go to heaven of Allah. You will not say to your wife, I like your lips, because you cannot see them. Uh, yes. You will say to her, I love your bones, you know. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, for you, you think this is funny and stupid, but reality, uh, you know, uh, this is very uh, well known that men in heaven, I, I know many men from heaven uh, who really like uh, women bones. They don't get attracted to uh, like women legs or ass or boobs or no, you know, you will you will look at her and says honey your your bones oh, I'm melting, you know, because Allah will turn you like will make you like a dog, you know like a, Well, you know the second you put a, a bone in front of a dog <laughs> You know he go crazy and his saliva is coming. So what will happen to you in heaven of Allah? So Allah will redirect your vision to see the beauty of the bones, you know, so like this is why there's a big uh, fantastic team used to be called Bony M. It's coming from the bone of Allah. So, yes. you know, you go to heaven, now you are relaxing in your house, and you have all those versions are naked, because you can see it through anyway, even if they were closed, who cares? So you can see through their through their bones, and imagine, you know, you are coming from which country you are coming from? I'm not, uh, I, w I don't want to tell which country. Okay, country don't tell me, I, I, I can't tell you. You are, you are coming from Brazil, all right. Because <laughs> I can't tell you, have an accent of the jungle of Amazon River in South Africa in Shanghai. So anyway, so you go to the you know to the heaven of Allah, and then uh, the woman she greet you, and she start doing her like uh, strip dance like Mimi Hijab, and then you look you look at her, you say, wow, this is what Allah He promised me, you know, and then you call your friends around the world, you say, especially those who did not believe in Islam, look what you are missing. And you can share your TV screen with them, you know, especially when yes. those women, they put their legs up like this. So, I mean, this is really, I mean, you cannot irresistible religion. And, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to advise you, trying to bring you back to Islam, but I don't know if it's, it's working or not. 
No, I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna come back to Islam. No. But every time I talk to Muslims, for example, my brothers, they 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 tell me uh, I don't trust uh, that uh, translation and I don't uh, trust uh, these hadith. Mm, okay. They even say that uh, Sunnah.com is made by Jews. Yeah, actually, yeah. I mean, everything made by the Jews. The the cars, nuclear, you know. Yeah, I mean, the Jews they did everything. So why not? Hadith, Muhammad, Quran, made by the Jews. And let us blame the Jews for anything went wrong. You know, yes. this is the idea of Islam. You know, they they cannot blame their prophet for being an idiot of the village, but they blame the the Jews for anything. Even the Jews are not there. What? How? How the Jews will put stories in your books if you are the one in control of it? Where is the caliphate? Yes. Where is the scholars? You know, is is Ibn Kathir is a Jew? No. A Qurtubi? No. Ibn Ishaq. I mean, okay, what is the Jews? So if the Jews were able to say something and then you take it from them and you put it in your Quran, well, you're the prophet of Islam himself, he takes stories from the Jews. Everything Muhammad he have, yes, we have to agree. Muhammad took tons of stories from the Jews. As an example, the story of Solomon and the end. Don't you like the story of the end? Yeah, I don't remember. Is it, isn't it the, the story where Solomon can hear the end talking and he understands what they're saying? No, but you know the, the 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 thing about this story, you know the kuffar they don't they attack it, but there is a wisdom behind it. First of all, that the ant she was able to win the debate against Solomon. So like here you learn that little ant is smarter than a big guy. His name is Solomon, you know, and she got him busted. You know, when Solomon he said to her, "Why you are telling people I will crush you? You know, uh, yes. don't you know I'm a fair uh, prophet of Allah?" She said to him, "Uh huh." I was not really saying that, but I was fearing that you will crush their heart But when they see the beauty Allah he gave you. So the ant, she was in fear that the female ant like her, they will be tempted and seduced by Suleiman, which is very normal to happen. I mean, Suleiman is a very handsome man. The ants, they go crazy. You know, that's why if you go in the yard, the ants will be all over you. You know, like they will see like a sweet Suleiman in front of them and everybody want to take a sugar bite. So yes. the Quran is full of stories. All of them are stupid, and then the Muslim they speak about logic. Now, did you yes. hear? Did you hear the Sheikh speaking about logical? You know, he says, "Is it logical for God to be three and one?" What do you think about the Christian belief? Are you a Christian now or a Muslim still? I mean, no, ex Muslim. Not a Christian. What do you think about the Christian belief in God to be three and one? As in, uh, are you an atheist now? No, I believe in God, but I don't believe in religions. Um, what do you think about the Christian belief that God is a three and one at the same time? It actually makes sense because I heard uh, someone, I, I thought his name, I think his name was uh, Anis uh, Sharur or something. He mm -hmm. said, for example, uh, humans, uh, they have a mind, body, and soul. Uh, so that's a uh, three in one, you know. Okay, Anis Sharur said that, that or, 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 uh, or me? <laughs> All right. Like, yeah, but uh, but still, this is not convincing. I mean, uh, a, a human being, he have that. Uh, but uh, how God can be three in one? Is that is that a good answer? How he can be three and one? Because, you know, God is uh, not like human beings. He's uh, special. God is almighty. So the second we see almighty, it means everything is possible for God. So when a foolish person, he used the word God and he believed in God, and yet he don't want God to be almighty, that means his God is not almighty. So either God is almighty and everything is possible for him. It's not logical. You know, the logic does not stand with God because it's logical. Yes. When we speak about logic, it's not logical for me to say to you, I can fly. That would be laughable, right? It's not logical to say, I can have a kid without having a wife. That would be stupid. I, it's not logical to say to you, I can stay without food for a hundred years, even for maybe a week. So yes. logic is something about based on the ability uh, of what, nature. What is, uh, the, what is the proof for Christianity? What is the proof of Christianity? Well, depend in what proof you are looking for. Like, you, are you the kind who seek proofs of science or proofs of uh, uh, logic or proofs of uh, ethic? What what you are looking for? Just uh, any proof that is uh, convincing. Well, all of those are they come together because you cannot take one of them out of uh, the, you know. Uh, when we speak about God, uh, we mention that He is Almighty. But the most important thing of the Almighty is the reason for our creation. The Bible speaks about how God, He loved the world. So God, He loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son. So 
the proof of God is exist in every human being. Do your mother yes. love you? Yes. Why? Because uh, she gave birth to me. Okay. Why? Still. Because uh, she's my mother. Every mother loves the child. Okay. So let us think about it. You try to find all excuses for your mother to love you, even though you might be bad or good, right? Mother, she loves yes. her son. But that cannot be explained except a love of God is given to this woman to love her son. You will find a chicken. She is a chicken. Do the chicken care for her babies? Yes. You will find an eagle. You will find um, even a rat. Mice, you know, like mice. So you will find that all creatures, they have very unique thing which is proving that there is somebody gave them that there is no way a selfish animal he's an animal look it's an animal a dog is a dog yes. you know two dogs kill each other for over, over 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 a dish of food but you will find a female dog she is defending her babies why she want to do that yes. so you will find that god he have his fingerprint in everything and that is love love when a human being he loved to help you he does not know you but he saw you struggling and suffering. I mean, why I want to help you? Oh, I want to save money to buy a new car. I want to save money to... Why I want to help a person? So the love inside you, which is gift from God, will not make you the same as anything. So there's a fingerprint of God, which is love, the same as the Bible says, for God, he loved the world. In the Quran, why Allah, he sent... Why Allah, he created you? The Quran says... So I did not create a human and genie except to worship. So the purpose of your creation in Islam, in the cult of Muhammad, Allah, he need worshippers. The purpose of a creation in Christianity, our God, Allah, he love us. So God, he want to share the glory, his kingdom with his children. And that base what, yes. what to prove of Christianity that we are when we pray, we say our father, what why why we Christian we call our father why we don't call him okay God you know why we call him father because simply our belief and the existence of the very God is based on love this is why the Bible says yes. you know love never fail so with love you can win with hate you lose you are the first loser when you hate Islam is based on hate that's why they are losers and the Quran uh, when, when Muhammad, he heard the Christian saying, we are the children of God. Now the Quran used the word Allah. We don't believe in Allah. Uh, Muhammad, obviously, because he's a false prophet, he's, he, he said, <laughs> you know, they say they are, we are children of God. Uh, so if this is true, uh, why, why does God, he punish you? So you will notice that Muhammad is far away from understanding Christianity and Judaism and he think that when the Christian and the Jews they say we are the children of God even though we don't believe in Allah but the Quran used the word Allah we are the sons of Allah uh, say to them Allah saying to Muhammad tell them <laughs> okay well if you are his beloved so why he punish you for your sin and here you see that Islam is extremely stupid because if you have a son and he's doing wrong you punish him for the wrong so you can correct him correct yes you don't let him do wrong more wrong you do that yes. if you don't care do i agree yes if you see your son taking drugs let us say you, you enter a room you find your teenage uh, or maybe even younger somebody give him drugs do you say oh good you know go ahead you know or you shout at him you take his uh, uh, you know, you don't allow him to have money to spend it anymore under your watch. Uh, you don't allow him to go out of the house. We do whatever you can to correct the person, correct? Yes. Here you see the stupidity of the maker of the Quran. He did not understand that the question when they say that we are the sons of God, the children of God, they don't mean that they, they are his children physically. They mean that Father who loves us is our care giver, is our care master is our care creator everything we have is from him so why we have it because he love us and why we appreciate it because we love him and why we have relationship because we are his children but the stupid muhammad he could not understand 
And that's why we see Muhammad. We don't see him as a smart, intelligent. We see him as an ignorant idiot who did not even know what Christianity is meant. Yes. All right. Anything else, my friend, you can want me to help you with? Uh, no. Do you have any Muslim would like to call me, Sheikh? You know, like, don't you know any Sheikh from before? Uh, no, I don't uh, know any Sheikhs. Why well, you do not know? Call them. Call, this, call any Sheikh and tell them, hey, this guy, he made me leave Islam. Please, can you talk to him? Maybe I will go back to Islam. Please help me. You know? I don't know uh, any Sheikh personally. Okay, do you know Zakir uh, I, I know of him, yes. Okay, do you, can you do me a favor and send him an email and tell him this guy, his name is a Christian Prince. You know, okay. I, I watch his videos and I left Islam. I actually love your uh, Zakir impressions. No, this it's is not impression. Funny. This is not impression. This is him. He actually is here. Fifth and Prince. First of all, I don't want to talk. And you are really crazy. I am not going to talk. I'm eating. And now you are even in the figure of the thing. Exactly. Now I called on. He mentioned your name. Did you hear him? He thought you are not here. In fact, you are here. Great and Prince. First of all, I am here. Why well, am I not here? Because Allah is here everywhere, but he is not here. So, uh, Zach and Naik, is Allah in the bathroom? Great and Prince, are you stupid or what? Allah will never be in the bathroom. But you just said Allah is everywhere. Allah is everywhere in ignorance. But he is not everywhere, but he is not in the Oh, okay, okay, Zakarna. Let, let me go back to the person speak to me in the phone. Thank you. All right. So, did you hear Zakarna is here? You know, what yes. impression? Are you accusing me to, to have a fake Zakarna? This is not right. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. And if you can send an email to Zakarna, Zakur and Yuka, let him know. Tell him that this guy, Christian Prince, yeah, email him. Let us see. You know, tell him, please, this guy is making many leave Islam. Uh, you know, can you debate him? Can you do you dare? Maybe he will make you square, even if you are a circle. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Okay, bye. bye, -bye. I am a Muslim. I want to discuss with you. Okay, let us see. We have a Muslim he wanna discuss with me. So we don't know. Hello? I'm I'm fine, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes. What is the proof that you are a Muslim? What is the proof? Yeah, can you say Shahada? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. What does that mean? Oh, you want me to yeah, what, what does that mean? What you said to me in Arabic? I do not know Arabic much. You know, as you know, I'm from Afghanistan. I'm like Sheikh Uthman. So what, what you said to me in Arabic, what does that mean? I added that there is no God other than Allah. Okay, how there's no God? How there's no God? There's no God, but Allah? Yeah, other than Him. He's okay. unique. Why? Yes. But who is the one who said that? Allah or Muhammad? He said that. Who said what? I don't understand your question. The Shahada, you know, the Shahada. Where do you get this from? Is it in the Quran? No, it's from the Prophet. So your 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 Prophet is fabricating things in the Quran. What? I don't understand your question. I just ask you if this is from the Quran. You said no. It's not in the Quran. The Prophet said that. So your prophet is fabricating a base on Islam, based on his name, associated with the name of Allah. You said to me, there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet, correct? Yes. Okay, so you joined the name, Muhammad, he joined his name with the name of Allah. But isn't it, this is shirk? To join the name of a man with the name of God? No, 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 that, that is not shirk. How, don't know. What do you mean, not shirk? Ever. Okay, if I say shirk is associating, yeah, uh, something with God, like, uh, like what? What? Are, what about knowledge? Is uh, is is the knowledge of uh, if the is the knowledge of Allah and the knowledge of Muhammad are equal? No, of course it's not. Okay, so how? Like as an example, your prophet he said he said to his uh, companion Abu Dhar, "Do you know where the sun goes?" Uh, a brother, he says, Allah and his messenger knows best. And we will find that all over in the books of Hadith. Allah and his messenger know best. 
So you Muslims associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. Do Muhammad knows best no, no, and no. Allah knows best too? What he mean? What he meant by yeah. that? Uh -huh. Because Muhammad and, and God is more knowledgeable than him. I no. can't. You are Christian, right? You are Christian. You are a, a Christian a scholar. I can say, okay, Christian prince and maybe Jesus know better. No, you cannot compare Christian prince to Jesus because that will that will be not right for uh, how a man how a man can be okay. You see, when we say shirk is associating the name of a person with the name of God, doesn't matter what the person is, fake or real, right? But to worship him, to worship or no problem. Something. But now you are worshiping the knowledge of Muhammad, saying that Muhammad and Allah, their knowledge is what best, which means both are equal. You did not say the um, Allah knowledge is best no. and Muhammad have knowledge you said Allah and Muhammad their knowledge is best no you did not understand what okay we Muslim I, I, I will go with you I will go with you you see, do, do you see the story do you see the story in front of you I was sitting yeah, a Muslim ex Muslim he just called me he left the stand because the sun he found the sun set in the murky water what do you I think I didn't see it can you can you read the, the, the surah in Arabic? Uh, I can, I do you, you know Arabic? Yeah, uh, not too much, but I understand. I'm okay. not. Uh, how you don't? How you do not know Arabic, but you understand Arabic? It's like I speaking. I, I speaking. I'm speaking English now, but I'm not uh, high level English. But I can understand. Uh, my friend, I'm asking you. You said you yeah, do not know Arabic. I, I don't I don't mind to show you the Arabic no problem but do you know Arabic you said no so what the difference going to make for you I mean uh, English is still better at least you can speak English no 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 if you read in Arabic I can recognize oh okay it says here verse okay and, uh, okay yeah yeah okay you have to recognize all right, it. All right. It says that he, you know, he says, وَهَوَ عَلَى حِمَارٍ وَالشَّمْسُ عِنْدَ غُرُوبِهَا فَقَالْ هَلْ تَدْرِي أَيْنَ تَغْرِبُ هَذِهِ الشَّمْسِ هَذِهِ قُلْتْ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَعْلَمْ قَالْ فَإِنَّهَا تَغْرُبُ فِي عَيْنٍ حَامِيَةٍ What I said. Okay, okay. So what is the problem? No, no, no. What I said. You said, okay, okay. What does that mean? Did you understand what I said? Yeah, it seemed like he... Uh, he saw it in something like lake, you know, like right. Something. Like he saw the, the sun. He saw the sun sitting in muddy, hot water. All right. Yeah, like the ocean. Oh, okay, and this is Sahih. So now, as long Allah and His messengers know best knowledge, and you agree with that, is that the best knowledge of Allah that the sun set in the muddy water and boiling water? Do you agree with that? But where did you take this hadith from? From your books, this is Sunan Abi Dawood, Hadith number four zero zero two. You know, uh, most of this uh, is fabricated hadith. That's why I don't really too, really too much on hadith. So you, most so of... you Muslims, you fabricate stories. Muhammad did not say. Who is the one who yeah. fabricated? You know, so do you know someone who? Uh, I forgot his name, but he was fabricating because. Uh, Okay, nice. I forgot the name. Okay. You know the Abbasid? The Who? Abbasid. Who? The Abbasid. The Abbasid. I don't know. The, I don't, you're not saying the name correctly, obviously. I don't know what is that. Abbasid, Abbasid. Uh, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas. You know okay, what name? about the Abbas? Uh, this is the cousin of Muhammad. Okay, what about him? They were fabricating too much. You know the second... Uh, so the cousin of Muhammad was fabricating too much? Not Muhammad, but some people like this. The, the, okay. The power. Okay. What about we go? What about the Quran? Is the Quran fabricated? Is the Quran fabricated? No, I don't think so. Okay, but this is the same thing it says in the Quran. The, the Quran says that he read found. The verse. Huh? You can read, you can find me the verse. Where yeah, sure. Is that? Sure. Here we go. You see my screen, or you don't see it? Let me use my just mic. just be sure that uh, YouTube is in muted there so we don't have double sound. Yeah, can you put in English? Yeah, yeah I see it in Arabic. Yeah. Uh English? You want to see it in English or in Arabic? 
Uh, first swim in Arabic and then in English. Okay, wonderful. This is in Arabic. It says, حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب في عين حمئة ووجد عندها قوما قلنا يا ذو القرنين إما أن تعذب أو etc. You know. So now, uh, until he arrive, okay. Go ahead, tell me what it says. On to when he reached the certain place of the sun. The certain place of the sun. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that a good translation? I don't know. This is your translation. My translation is... Uh, I'm using your Muslim translation. Even you see, you see the funny is you just said mention something very important. I show you the hadith. I show you the hadith. Listen, I show you the hadith. You say it's a lie. I show you the Quran in Arabic. You go to the translation. I show you the translation. You say is that a correct translation? So you Muslims, you you give false translation to the Quran. Ah uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. You know, ah, so how we can trust anything you say to me? Are you giving me now? Are you giving me uh, false answers too? Can no, I can answer based on my knowledge. Okay, answer. Okay, so how he, he found the sitting place of the sun? Let us go one by one. He reached the sitting place of a sin, sitting place of the sun. Where is that? Mm, it's it's can mean maybe it's something from the south or something like this. From the south. Yeah, yeah. How far are you from South Africa? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to find how close you are to the sun where the sun set. The south. It says here he found the sitting place of the sun. The sitting place. But you know, I can uh, sit in now. I'm sitting next to my I'm sitting now next to my window and I will see the sun sitting in my place. I don't need to go anywhere. Is that correct? Yes, but is that is empiric knowledge. This is what. Yeah. So what? What do you? What do you? What do you think about this Quran saying, until he reached the sitting place of the sun? How, how in the world that work? Maybe it's something parabolic. You know, parabolic. Something like this. Ah, because... no, but he's talking about a guy moving. He's a king. He found people. This is physical. All of this is physical, isn't this? That's not metaphorical. It's a, supposed to be a real story happening for a real person, correct? To something else. How can someone find the setting place of the sun? Exactly. So that means the Quran is wrong. Are you going to tell it to me now the Quran fabricated? Maybe we didn't understand what he meant by that. Maybe by what? Maybe what? Because he was explaining that to someone living in the seventh century. It's not like... We are not reading now. explanation, my friend. We are reading the Quran now. There's not explanation. This is Quran. Also, oh, you are saying to me, the Quran written by somebody, he have understanding of the seventh century. Yes. Okay, that's mean. Okay, that's mean. That's mean Allah is not God and Muhammad is not the prophet because he is writing a stories, fiction stories, based on his understanding in the seventh century. Yeah. Do you know Galilee, right? Galilee. He's my cousin. What about him? The Greek. He's a Greek. Oh, not my cousin. Right. Then. Okay. The guy who, who found uh, the the earth was round. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know him, right? Okay. And what happened? The, huh? What did the Catholic, Catholic Church did to him? What did it to him? They, to me? They killed him. You can look at it. Because he found the earth is round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Okay. Uh, who is the one who said that to you? It was Galilee. Who is the one who said that to you? Who is the one who said that to you? But, but my friend, don't don't you know? Don't you know that before Galilee is exists, this is not the reason he was taken to court. The reason he was opposing politically, Muslims they lie because in the Bible it says that the earth is a globe, the earth is a ball. If you go right now to Isaiah 40, 22, you will see. The earth is a is a, is a, like a ball, a ball of the earth. So when Muhammad and he speak about uh, uh, Galilee, he was uh, you know uh, murdered by the Catholic Church because he said the earth is not a flat. This is a lie. This is a lie. This is a fabrication. This is a fabrication made by the Muslims. Why? Because simply, first of all, the Bible never say the earth is a flat. Secondly, we have a clear verses. Now there's many translation, but doesn't matter what translation you take. Go to right now to Isaiah 40, 
22. And use any translation. Some translation say circle, some, uh, some translation say global, globe, some translation say ball of the earth. In our actually the correct translation is Kura. Kura is like a ball. Kura, you know, Kura Lord. So when somebody like you come and say such a thing, I love. Secondly, you look what you just did. You are saying to me now, your prophet is the same as those who believe in the earth to be flat. And somebody like Galilee is going to get them busted. And that is me. So now I am Galilee of today, getting you your prophet where? busted, and you must then want to kill me. You is, know that, is that what you are saying? Galilee, sorry. Why I brought it? Because uh -huh. the Christian at that time, they didn't know if I, how the earth was. Okay, no problem. Yeah. No, my friend, I, we have the book of Isaiah written a thousand of years before Galilee. It says clearly, the ball, the spare of the earth. So what are you talking about? This is this is a knowledge written in our book so before all science are, uh, they are born, all scientists, all schools, all university. There's no university yet, and this is written in our book. So listen, listen. So when Allah in the Quran, He say, He found the sitting place of the sun. And you are saying to me, Allah is speaking in the language of the seventh century. So Allah yes. is promoting a lie. For what purpose? No, it's not promoting a lie. It's like what, if, if you are okay. Is it true? The, uh, is it true the sun is the sitting place of the sun? Is, there, is it true or it's a lie? No, oh, that is a metaphoric something. You can not. How it's metaphorical? He found near it people. He found near it people. How that is metaphorical? I'm talking about real person and real location and people there. He have a conversation with them, and not only that, no. all of Islam is based on that he built a, a dam uh, for Gog and Magog. So what metaphorical? Okay, give me the metaphorical of it. Go ahead. It's the metaphorical story because he is doing. Make no, no, sense. give me the metaphorical meaning. He's okay, a... you said it's a metaphorical. What is the metaphoric of such a story? Go ahead. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly. So how you know it's a metaphorical if you don't even know what the metaphorical stand for? Because when we say metaphorical, that means standing for something. So we know like Jesus, he says, there's a three servant. They have a master. Okay, this is metaphorical because there's no three servant in front of him. There's no master in front of him. There's no, you know, this is about his teaching. But here we are, they are asking him, they were asking Muhammad about a person. His name is Dhul Qurnayn. Verse number 83, it says, they ask you about Dhul Qurnayn. Dhul Qurnayn is a real person, supposedly, and he is Alexander the Great. I say, I shall recite to you something of his story. This is his story. A real person. This is not metaphorical. Uh, that's how I understand it, because it doesn't make sense. Uh, so anything okay i will go with you now anything in islam does not make sense you understand it as you wish is something metaphorical i didn't understand. i don't have the knowledge do you have Maybe. one one muslim sheikh you say it's a metaphorical or only you no i didn't ask about this question okay so how you come with this metaphorical we have tons of islamic books interpretations scholars big names none of them he said this metaphorical this is new what, what did they say they say this what happened so Qurnain, he arrived all the way there and he found where the sun set and i showed you what your prophet said that the, he said the sun set in a muddy hot boiling water so he found where the sitting place is and then uh, there, where the sitting place sun, he found it, the sun, hitting in a spring of a black, muddy water. Did you hear uh, how Zach and Nike answered this? No. Okay, I will tell you. Zach and Nike said, but the Fitr, the Quran said that the tent in milk water. But the Quran, he didn't mean that the Quran saying that Durkunain, he saw the tent in the milk water, and the water. Okay, well, so let me start. As if it is sitting in murky water, Zachary Nike says, it appeared to him as if it is sitting in murky water. Is that true? Do you agree with him? It appeared to him this way? No, no. So, what no. do you think? Okay, so okay. give me the meaning then. As long as you didn't agree with him, then what is the situation now? He found the sun sitting 
in muddy, bloody, hot water. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not. I'm not uh, saying you're lying. I'm saying, oh, give me the answer. Help me. It makes sense. It's, it, I don't know if he answered like this. If he, his answer was like this, mm -hmm. I, I don't agree. But I don't know. Well, the video you is there. You can watch it. The video is there. You know, he says it appeared to him. So what? What? So what do you think? What is the solution now? So that's what you think Islam is for, for only that verse. No, everything in Islam is okay. You know what? I'm not going to talk about this. Give me a chapter in the Quran is not a stupid. Just chapter, one chapter. Just one chapter. Give me one chapter is not stupid. You know the Quran? Yeah, sure, I know the Quran. Okay. Okay. Give me a chapter, tell me. Okay, find me something stupid in this chapter. Any chapter of your choice. You I have the whole know. book from cover to cover. Anything stupid in, in, in the Quran. That's why Everything I, is stupid. Just what I'm saying to you, give me one chapter of your choice and challenge me to find something stupid about it. Okay. You know, Wonderful, here we go. Okay, yes. tell me what this verse is saying about Yeah, you understand Arabic, right? My friend, okay, you are the one who chose the, the, the verse. So, uh, what this what this chapter is speaking of? This is chapter 112 in the Quran, it's just a few verses. Okay, so yes. what 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 the, what the verse is saying? Okay, yeah. Uh, tell them that uh -huh. Allah is one. Okay, hold on. So let us stop here. In Arabic, when you say Ahad, Ahad does not mean one. Ahad means one off. I will do this in front of your eyes. I will carry the word Ahad, copy it, and paste it in the search engine in the same, very same Quran. And you will find in Arabic, the word Ahad never appear as one. Ahad means one off. So I say, Ahadul Tullab, one of the student. Ahadul Anbiya, one of the prophet. Uh, uh, as an example here, chapter two, verse one o two. Wama yu'allimani min ahadin. They don't teach anyone. Anyone. Ahad mean one off. So they don't teach any one of the people. The, uh, chapter two, verse one thirty six. La nufarriqu bayna ahad. So we don't differentiate between any of them. So the word ahad does not mean one. Mean one off. So how Allah is one, and now this is the verse you chose for me to prove to me something very solid. And then Allah is using the word which is wrong. Allah should use wahid, not ahad. For the word ahad is one of many. You cannot find in Arabic one sentence using the word ahad without saying ahad, etc., which means one off. Ahad. Oh, here we go. Chapter two, verse number eighty-five. La nufarriqu. We don't differentiate between any of his messengers or his messen the messengers. So we don't differentiate. Read it. We don't distinguish between any of. This is Ahad. Any of. So the second you say Allah is Ahad, you just say there's many Allah and he is one of them. No, that, that's, that is your translation. Uh, this is not my translation. This is your translation. I'm using the same word in the Quran, and this is your translation in the screen. This is not my translation, my friend. I'm showing you on the screen what it says. Every no, single no. verse in the Quran translating the word Ahad as one off. Every single verse. And I can show you endless number of verses. Here we go. We start from 2, chapter 2, 102, chapter 2, 136, chapter 2, 285, Chapter two, three, verse thirty-seven. Chapter three, verse number 80, 84. Chapter three, verse one fifty fifty-three. Uh, chapter four, verse number forty-three. Chapter four, verse one fifty-two. Chapter five, verse number six. Chapter seven, verse number eighty. Chapter nine, verse number six. Chapter nine, verse number eighty-four. Chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. Uh, shall I continue? We will stand until tomorrow. So, uh, as you see, all of it. Man, kumu ahad ahad. You see it? You know. So Ahad does not mean one. Ahad mean one off. So if your yeah. God, he decided to tell us about himself and then he says, say to them, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Muhammad is an idiot. He stole a, a chapter from the Bible. It says, 
O Israel, your God is Echad. Echad, Echad makes sense. Echad does not mean one, as a one person. Echad means unity. That's why the Bible says, the man and the woman, they leave their parents and they become Echad. This is Ahad. Echad is Ahad. But not one person is one as a unity. So your God, he chose a word. Muhammad, he stole the word from the, uh, from the Hebrew. Echad, which Ahad, and he put it in his Quran. But by doing that, he made his God not one person, but a unity. And here, if you read the verse after, it says, Qul huwa Allahu, uh, uh, huwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad. What Samad mean? Mm, Samad means someone who is uh, capable by himself. He okay. Need help. Okay. Self sufficient master, the Muslim translation. The fact this is false. Samad is a word coming from the Aramaic, Masmuda. If you ask even, even Arab, even Arab, ask the Masmuda, what Masmuda mean? You will find that Masmuda is the, uh, uh, is the, like a, a collection, like, you know, like, uh, do you know that the thing uh, where kids, they have like uh, something made from clay and they have holes in it and you put your coins? Mm. This is Masmuda. <laughs> so how Allah is a Samad, how Allah became a Samad? So Allah is a collector. He is, uh, all the gods is in Allah. He is the collector, you know, a God. So this is the unity. And then it says, he begot not, uh, 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 which means son, nor he has begotten, correct? Do you mean some, some ad mean what? Some ad mean masmuda. Some ad mean the, the, the collection, the collect, the, the, the things collected together, united together. You put them no, together, from, like when you collect money, you put them together so they can have more power. From where? So from where do you take this translation? This is a this is a pure pure uh, Aramaic, and this is a, uh, even in, even in, in Arabic, you know. No, it's based on okay. Meanings. What the words uh, samada mean? Masmuda, masmuda, samad, samada. Is this what it's meaning? We can go to the dictionary. Well, same Masmuda. He said Samad. Samad is the same, my friend. Masmuda is the name. Like Masmuda, you name something. As somebody are describing it. So uh, uh, when I say, okay, say Allah is, okay, I, I will go with the translation you Muslims have. You said self sufficient, correct? Mm -hmm. Is Allah self sufficient? Of course. Okay, let us, let us see if that's true or not. The verse after it says, He begot not. Mean what? Mean he don't have children, right? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, but remember, Allah is self-sufficient, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, that means Allah do not need a woman in case to have a child if you want, correct? Yeah, of course. Because he is self-sufficient, so he do not need a woman. I am not self-sufficient to practice to, to have such an ability because simply I'm a human being. Allah is not okay. But how then Allah He says, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Remember, he is self-sufficient. And the self-sufficient, he do not need a partner in order to do anything because he is self-sufficient. He do not need even anything at all. He is dependent on no one. But the Quran, yeah. chapter 6, verse number 101, yeah. it says, huh? That he did say that, that he doesn't need a girlfriend. The Quran, chapter 6, verse 101 says, the originator of the heaven and the earth, how can he have a child when he don't have a girlfriend no that because of jesus because people are it doesn't matter uh, we're not talking about jesus now don't jump to jesus now focus with me you agree oh. that allah is self-sufficient correct so we have to understand the context before we make okay what no no it doesn't matter if i am self-sufficient why i need a woman to make a baby huh huh if I am self-sufficient, you see, a second ago you agree with me, a second after, now you don't want to agree. You are the one who agree with me, that self-sufficient. I said to you, do I need to have a, do I need to have a woman to have a child? You said, yes. I said, because I'm not self-sufficient. I'm, I'm a human, correct? You said, yeah, you agree. So now, Allah is saying, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. And not only that, he is using the word, how can he? Do you know what can, how can mean? Yeah, uh, of course. What does that mean? Tell me. What, what? What? When I say, how can he? What I'm questioning. 
How can he? What you I don't understand your question. How no, can he? I am asking what I'm a question exactly. When I say how can he, I'm a question what? It's possibility, like ability. Thank sorry. you very much. Question the ability. You are the one who gave me the answer. Thank you very much. So Allah question his ability. How can he have a son? Yet he don't have a girlfriend. So how the Muslim they say that verse there, Masmuda or Samad, mean self-sufficient, which falsely they are translating the word Aramaic word, which is not Arabic, false translation. And yet Allah, He cannot have a son unless He have ability, and that ability is not exist because He cannot have a son unless He have a girlfriend. No, you didn't. Uh Actually, you don't know the, the Quran. You don't know why. Because Give me an answer. Don't, don't tell me why. I, I mean, see, I, I'm talking to you, my friend. I did not hang up on you. Okay. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, you know, being aggressive with you. I'm trying to have a conversation. Don't tell me you do not know. Just give me the answer. Why Allah cannot have a son unless he need, unless he have a girlfriend? Okay, let me explain to you the context. Why? Okay, give me the context. No problem. Yeah. Still, my friend, he has given us the reason why he don't have a son. The reason he don't have a son, he is saying to us, he's speaking, talking to you, talking to me. How can I have a son, yet I don't have a girlfriend, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you convinced yeah. now? Are you convinced after Allah he said that? No, I'm not convinced. Because if Allah is God and he's self-sufficient, Allah did not answer me. Actually, he made himself in trouble. Because how this is a word should not be said to God. How God, how God can do, that is not a question. And the one is asking now is Allah Himself asking the question. Allah saying how Allah can do. I didn't understand the the contest. That's why you are doing it like. You see, you are trying. You keep hiding behind the context, but you fail to give me the give me the context. Okay, the context is the Christian, the Jews, whatever whatever people they say, uh, even the pagan they say God Allah. He have a three daughters. Okay, so now Allah is answering them, right? Allah is saying yeah. to them, "How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend?" Why you are saying to me, "I'm taking it out of context." When the answer is so clear, "How can I have a son?" The funny, he don't even say "I." He say "he." How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? So what is stopping Allah from having a boy, uh, from having a son? Is not he could? He's. he's how he could okay do you see the word you see listen focus with me does it say how can he and this is your islamic translation mm -hmm. okay so how do you say who could because if he could you should not say how can he we should say he could have a son no oh, he was just responding to those guys exactly he's yeah. responding explaining to them why he cannot have a son because he cannot have the he don't have the ability he need a girlfriend no, where did you where did you see my friend? He just said he just said how can he have a child? So what is the problem for him to have a child? He don't have a girlfriend. He was just explaining to them that doesn't matter. He's explaining to them. Wonderful. Okay, he's explaining to them why I can't have a son because I I cannot I cannot do it. I need a woman. No, that's not that. Okay, hard. give me the then give me give me the explain it to me. Go ahead. Yeah. He was telling them because he was uh, responding to those. No guys. problem. You keep repeating you the same thing, but the what the response is stupid because if if I am responding to you about God having a son, then and then I say to you, how can I have a son without having a girlfriend? That means I am a human being like everybody. The God of Mary. Do the God of Mary have a son because he have a wife? I don't understand. You keep repeating this, the, the, the same. I'm asking you. This is not the same. No, not the same. I'm asking you. Mary, she gave birth to a child. His name is Isa in the Quran, correct? Yes. Okay. Do she have a boyfriend or husband? Or she's a virgin? Ah, that's a miracle. Okay, wonderful. So, so the God of Mary, the God of Mary, He can make Mary have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend or a husband. She do not need a man. Your God cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Obviously, the God of Mary, He can, 
and he is not the God of, uh, of Muhammad because the God of Mary he was able to make Mary have a child yet she don't have a man but your God he cannot even do it to himself look mm. in the Quran it says inna mashallu isha kama sali adam qalaqahu min turabi summa aqula kum fayakum huwa kalimatun la you understand that yeah I understand you just you just even make Allah more in trouble you see Oh. I ask you to give me a chapter in the Quran is not a stupid and you give me chap uh, a stupid chapters chapter 3 verse number 59 proving that Islam cannot be from God why because the Quran is saying that Allah created Adam and the Isa by saying be and he was but if we go and read the story how Allah created Adam and Isa we will find that Allah he made a clay he mixed the clay he fashioned the clay and then he breathed into the clay and then Adam become Adam. So where is he, where he would, would be and he was? Either this, he said be and he was, or he did all the work. What do you think? So what is the problem? I'm waiting for the problem. You don't, you don't know the problem? Okay. If I say be a TV, be TV, TV should be there, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, I do not need to bring screwdriver and 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 uh, chips and etc. and wires and you know, that's it. I say B is going to be there. You agree? So you mean uh, the Almighty cannot do that? No, no. He's he said he said how he created Adam. Did he create Adam? You are the one who quote for me the verse, correct? Or I'm making it up? It's you mm -hmm. who quote for me chapter three, verse number fifty nine. Okay, so how Allah created Adam and Isa, He said to them, "Be," and He was, correct? Uh -huh. Okay, but is that really what happened? If this is what happened, it means the other verses in the Quran are fabricated, because Allah, He created Adam from mud. After He mixed the mud, even took him forty years after He mixed the mud to dry the mud. So, uh, when the Quran speak about how Allah created Adam, did, uh, did Allah use His hands to create Adam? I don't know. Well, I, I know, you know. Allah he said Allah in the Quran he said, and the Quran says chapter 38, verse number 75. He said to Iblis, Why you this why you are not bowing down to the one who I created with my both hands? So what Allah he Get used done. what Allah he used to create Adam? Hands. Well it's possible. I, I don't you claim that you know you claim, you claim that you know Arabic, so you have no excuse. It says here, "Qala ya iblis, ma manaka an tasjida, lima khalaqtu bi yaday." Yaday, what yaday mean? Yaday mean yeah, yeah, his hand. Okay, so how Allah created Adam? Did He say be and He was, or He used His hand to create Adam? Look. I'm he making he make him from dust and then he, he, he know the soul, putting soul in the dust. My and friend, my, my friend, Adam. you see, you agreed with me. But, if I say be a TV, the TV will be there. There's no need for a screwdriver. There's no need for material. That's it. I say B, he was there. Bingo. Did Allah create Adam by saying B? No. Because the verse here in front of me saying clearly, okay, did Allah use the word B after he used his hand or uh, uh, before he used his hand? Either way, he can. He, no, no, no. Give me the answer. Not tell me. Don't tell me either way. Because there's there's a reason to ask us question. Did Allah create Adam by B before he used his hand or after he used his hands? I don't know the process. Okay, the All answer. No, the, the process. Word. We know the process because the Quran. Thanks to Muhammad, he don't he don't keep his mouth shut. Here we go. The Quran, the same chapter, chapter thirty eight says, and when I have fashioned him, which means the clay and breathe into him my spirit so number one we made the clay number two we fashioned the clay number three we breathe into him then we said to them put straight for him which means he is a he's a person now and then allah said to adam to, to shaitan why you did not bow down to shit to adam uh, the one i created by my two hands so how allah created adam stages you know the word b doesn't exist as you see he made a clay, you know, even in different verses clearly what kind of a clay it is. So 
uh, he made the clay here we go let's go to Quran here and that mentioned many times in the Quran actually not only once so Allah he not only he brought a clay he have to make a clay chapter 6 verse number 2 chapter 7 verse number 12 chapter 32 the 23 verse number 12 chapter 32 verse number 7 chapter 37 verse number 11 uh, you know I mean all of it is speaking about how uh, Allah created Adam so Allah he created Adam by mixing a clay so this is step number one we made a clay and how we make a clay we bring dirt water and we mix them together very simple mm -hmm. and then after I uh, he created uh, he, he made the clay mixed together now the clay became nice you know fun to play with and to do shape so he fashioned Adam and he fashioned him in the shape we know according to your prophet he was 60 meter tall which is very short compared to me so Allah he fashioned the clay now still Adam is not there Adam is just a clay now and then Allah after he fashioned Adam he breathed into Adam and then when Allah he breathed into Adam was Adam done right away or took a lot of time I don't know the process the process we have an answer for it the Quran says what kind of insan a human was ever hasty you open the interpretation you will see that Adam he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset Adam was afraid that Allah is too slow and he cannot finish him before the sunset so he asked Allah and this is what your prophet says uh, chapter 17 verse number 11 you can open right now Ibn Kathir al Jalalain, whatever you want so Adam he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset that's mean the statement of Allah he said to Adam to Adam be and he was is a fraud because as you see even Adam is worried about hey Allah finish me before the sunset man look like Allah will go blind when the sunset and I find it very funny Muhammad saying that because how even Adam he knew the sunset if he is not done yet I mean he did not see any sun yet yet you know I mean the guy is just in the in the process of a creation Mm. What? Mm. Ah, is I don't know. It's ah, it's your translation. This is not my translation. I'm showing you Muslim translation. Muslim. What's wrong with you? I'm showing it in the screen, and you keep saying to me, "This is your translation. This is your understanding. This is your understanding. This is your translation, not mine." No. When I say Ibn Kathir al Qurtubi al Jalalain, this is your understanding, not mine. When I say the translation in the screen, this is your translation, not mine. When I say your prophet said, this is your prophet said, not mine. Here we go. It says here, what kind of insanu ajula? This is Ibn Kathir. It says here, Salman al Farisi, he mentioned from Ibn Abbas, from, 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 from the story of Adam. When he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. And when it reached his brain, he sneezed. Hachu! Which is very normal, by the way. I, I always like the, the soul came to my head. I breathe and say, Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Adam, he speak Arabic. The first thing he said, Alhamdulillah, in Arabic. And then, praise be to Allah. And Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. Huh? They are talking already. The guy is not even finished. When he re it reached his eyes, he opened them, plink, plink, plink. And when it reached his body and his limp, start to he start to stare at them. Like Adam is looking, like, What is that? This is a foot. This is a hand. Wow. He wanted to get up before it is reached his feet. But he could not. So he said, Oh Allah, make it happen before the night comes. Okay. I understand your point. I understand your point. Can, can we go, go to, to, to the Bible now? Okay, so so are... now, okay. So, so are you saying to me you give up that every verse you gave me from the Quran it turned to be stupid? No, it's not everywhere. So why are you no, trying to change topic? You cannot, because you are uh, picking and choosing in the corner. I you am not. It's you who point. choose the topic. It's you who choose the verses. It's you who mention them. It's me who answer you. The Bible now. My friend, my friend, all the verses we put in the screen, it was your choice. You forgot? Is it me who said to you, is it me who said to you, give me a chapter in the Quran and I challenge you to show me one chapter is not stupid. And then you are the one who chose for me the chapter, correct? Yes. And you are the one who mentioned to me that Allah he created Adam by saying this uh, a, a be and he was, correct? 
good. Okay, and now you are trying to escape it. Why? Obviously, you don't know the translation, how we Muslim understand it. You must have you don't so, understand anything. Yeah. Here we go. Each time I show you translation, you say to me, you don't understand translation. This is your translation. And this is your understanding. Ibn Kathir is not my understanding. Is, it, is Ibn Kathir the Christian? No, of course. Okay, so what you are saying to me, this is your translation, this is your understanding. That's why I told you. That's Ibn Kathir understanding. And I didn't read it too much. So maybe, maybe you make a point. I will. Really I don't understand. Take a look on it. I don't understand yeah, what you are saying. What, what you are saying? Go ahead. Say again. I said uh, about the son. You make a good point. Mm -hmm. If you said Jackie Nike said it like this, you make a good. point. I can find the video play for you if you want. I'm gonna try to find it. Not only I'm him. Every for... single Muslim in YouTube, they say the same. I'm looking for the truth. I'm not here like. No problem. No problem. Okay. So I, I, you are saying to me. You are saying to me. If the sun set in a in a muddy water and they are saying that they are lying, then so what is your saying? That's why I thought I I, I will make research to see about it, but I don't agree. It doesn't make sense. Well, the whole Quran doesn't make. Okay, uh, you know, hold on. Uh, you are a person who like stories make sense, correct? Is that correct? Yes, yes. I'm, okay. So if I'm something doesn't make if, if if something doesn't make sense, you don't accept it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Even if that's why I'm looking for the truth. Okay. Yes. So okay. Uh, as long as you accept stories which make sense, can you give me a story in the Quran make sense? Any story. You have one hundred fourteen chapter. You have one hundred fourteen chapter. I challenge you. To give me one story in the Quran makes sense. Every story in the Quran makes sense. Quran. Okay, choose one. No, just choose one and tell me. No, no, you choose one. one. If I choose one, it was you are the one who said to me you are picking up cherries. You forgot? That's why I'm challenging you. This is what I did before five minutes ago. I said to you, give me one chapter in the Quran. It's not stupid. You gave me one. We prove it to be stupid. And now you're trying to change topic. No, no, no. So now I'm saying to you, one, go, okay, one, give me one, one, give me one, one story in the Quran. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. You are the one who accept only what makes sense. That's wonderful. Give me a story in the Quran. Makes sense. Go ahead. No, for me, all the stories in the Quran make sense. Okay, give me one. If you doesn't, okay, you I will tell you a story. Okay, as long as you are refusing, I will give you a story. But this is personal. I hope you will not make fun of me. I have my grandfather, he passed away, and he was holding a stick. And uh, my grandmother, she came to his room. She did not notice that he is dead because he was holding a stick. Second day she came to the room, she huh. thought still alive because he was holding a stick standing. And she kept coming every day, and nobody noticed that he is not dead because he was holding a stick. And this is a true story. What do you think about my story? But he was dead since when? What? He was dead since when? He died, like, you know, it, it took them more than a year to find out that he is dead. But please don't make fun, because this is my grandfather, you know, respect, show respect. So, uh, my He's grandmother, my grandmother, he, like, he, uh, he died standing, you know, have a heart attack. So, he died standing, like, oh, oh, you know, he died, but he was holding a stick when he was standing. And nobody in the family noticed that he is dead. Because each time they enter, he was standing in front of the mirror and he's holding a stick. And they, they talk to him, you know, he don't answer, but he's standing, so nobody noticed he is dead. And it took them more than a year. And then the termite, they ate his stick and then he fell down and then they find out that he's dead. Was he alone? Huh? Was he alone at the house? No, no, I have a he's, he's my grandfather. We have the, my grandfather is alive and my mother. Even me, I go there, yeah. I ask him for candies, he don't answer me. So, what do you think? They were living together? Yeah, yeah, I was a kid at that time. He say, hey, Grandpa, Grandpa, That's Grandpa, you know, I, I shake his band, I say to him, can you give me, you know, candies? He don't answer. But then, after a year, 
uh, huh. the termite, the ants, they ate his stick and he fell down. And then we notice in the family, sadly, that the grandfather, our grandpa, he died a year ago. I don't know what is strange. Why is strange? Are you are you making fun of me now? When I hurt my feelings? I don't know the true story. What, why? Okay, why you are saying to me is strange? What do you mean? If they live together, I don't know. If if he was alone, it can be. But so standing, if my grandfather is alone, if my grandfather was alone, standing, holding a stick, it's normal to to be standing alone for a year, even after he died. Does he have power or something? He have what? Does he have a power or something? Is he a prophet or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a prophet. You know, you think prophet, they can die standing? It's possible because... Uh -huh. God, Why? I thought prophet in Islam are a human. No, they are human. Okay. Can your God, can your prophet Muhammad is, uh, die standing for a year? According to Muslims, Muhammad, when he died, he stink in less than three days. I can show the reference. He stink literally. So the guy is dead holding a stick. Isn't he going to decay when he's standing? Yeah, normally. But with huh? God, he can expect everything. Uh, but remember, you are the one who said to me, you believe only in story makes sense. Yes. Okay, what is a what is make sense in this story for you? It doesn't make sense, but but you are the one who said to me, I accept only stories make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but it depends who is who is it. Like, ah, who is so best? if the story doesn't make sense and it is about Islam, we take it. Mm -hmm. If the story about me doesn't make sense, we laugh at you, right? It's like Jesus. Uh, what, what, like, what about Jesus? Tell me about Jesus. What happened? Mary, Mary, Mary have, uh, have had Jesus. Yeah. Without, without husband, right? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Because it makes sense. Why? Why? Tell me why. We are not uh, talking about uh, God or or something. If no, no, no. Tell me why it doesn't make sense. Explain to me why I, Jesus' story doesn't make sense. Why don't you? Uh, I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, Christian Prince, my sister, have his son yesterday, mm. and she didn't see. But any, what? Uh, what about it? What? What? What is the reason? Does it make sense? What make it doesn't make sense? Because it's impossible for. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, but hold on. Okay, let me ask you: What is the purpose in the Quran to say that Jesus have no father? What was the purpose of it? Because you have no father. Yeah, I mean, do we, because you see, when we talk about sense, the sense is about understanding the reasoning, correct? Mm -hmm. If the reasoning is not acceptable, that story doesn't make sense, correct? Yes. Okay, so what is the sense of Jesus having no father? What is the purpose in Islam? What that prove? The problem that Allah can do everything. Well, I just showed you Allah cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. Nah, no, that's your understanding. You that's see, you that. keep saying to me, that's my understanding, but this is what the Quran is saying. Did you even did you try to open the Quran and read? That that was the answer for you, Christians. Because no problem. Claiming. Are you saying to me that Allah gave me an answer? What does that make sense? What? I don't huh? understand the question. Yeah, because you know, I you, you are the one who said that Allah wanna show what He can do, a miracle. So Allah, the one who do miracle there, He can do miracle here. So now the answer doesn't make sense because He did not convince me that He need to have a wife in order to have a son for already supposedly He made Mary have a son without having a, a, a man. So if He can do it to Mary, can't He do it to Himself? I, I told you, the decoder had already speak about Jesus. He's a miracle. He's a kalimatullah. It's a miracle. Okay, hold on. You said Jesus is kalimatullah. What does that mean? Kalima is mean uh, words. Okay. Well, Jesus, guys, is the word of Allah. Is the word yeah. of Allah is holy? Yeah, of course. Is Muhammad the word of Allah? Is Muhammad the word of Allah? 
Allah is a, just a prophet. This is another question. Is he the word of Allah? Either you say yes or no. No, I didn't see. Okay, so now a Muslim saying to us that the Messiah is the word of Allah and the word of Allah is holy and Muhammad is not the word of Allah. So now we understand why chapter 19 verse 19 says that a gift of a holy son. So he's not only a gift, not only a miracle, he is a holy. And now we discover that he is the word of Allah. Let me ask you, the word of Allah came from where? Mm. From Allah? Yeah, what, from where? Where is Allah? From Allah, I mean. Okay, but where is Allah? Right. Allah is, is everywhere. <laughs> What I, think so. I thought he's in heaven. He's everywhere. He can be in the heaven. He can be everywhere. Okay, but isn't it the Quran says that he is in the top of the throne? Are you making? Are you fabricating your religion now? Yes, he can be. Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't say he can be everywhere. It says literally he is in the top of the throne. And he said also he is closer to you than your. I don't know how I call it in English. That, that's false because Allah, He have to come down every day at the third part of the night. So if He's closer to me, to my breath or whatever, then He do not need to come down. Do Allah come down every day, every day in the third part of the night? Yes. And he can be everywhere. No, Allah come down every third part of the night. I can play for you right now, Ali Dawa. I can, I can, I can play for you with me hijab. I can play for you all Muslim who claim to have knowledge, saying that Allah come down every every night at the third part of the night. Yeah, I know this story. Okay, yeah. so don't tell me he is everywhere. Now let us go back to the topic. So, Allah, Allah, he, uh, he, he is, he is capable of making miracles, but obviously in his case he cannot have a son, and Allah, he need a wife, he need a woman, the Messiah. In the same time. You mentioned that that he is the word of Allah and the word of Allah is coming from what from the mouth of Allah, correct? Possibly. All right. So where was the Messiah before he come to the earth? He was inside Allah. No, I don't know. No. What do you mean? A second ago you said to me possibly. Yeah, possibly. So I looked, are you Try talking to me? Allah he speak that. from his nose? Allah he speak. From that. Okay, Allah, do Allah speak from his nose? I don't know. Like a well, it doesn't yeah, matter. There's nothing like Jesus too. You know? There's nothing like Jesus. If there's anyone like is, is, is if there's anyone like Jesus? I don't think so. Okay. You see, God. you just proved to me that Islam is false. You are the one who said to me, gave me a verse saying that Allah he said in the Quran, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. He said to him, be, and he was. And now I ask you, okay, if there is anyone like Jesus, you said, no, we know. <laughs> He's talking about the creation. The creation doesn't matter. Person. There's no one like Jesus and there's no one like Adam. So this is a this is a stupid logic to say to me. And this is the phrase Allah, Muhammad, he took it from the Bible. Nothing like God. But that does not mean anything. Nothing like God with his power, his ability, his miracle. But when it's come to other things, yes, all of us, we are like God. I will tell you how, as an example, God you love, I love. God get angry, I get angry. God forgive, I forgive. God punish, I can punish. God kill, I can kill. So we share many things, we share many things. Listen, we share many things with God. But now listen carefully. Now you are the one who said that the Messiah is the word of Allah. Muhammad is not the word of Allah, correct? No, it seemed like that. Okay. The Messiah, he said, I am from above. You are from below. This is in, in, in John chapter 8, verse number 23. I am from above. You are from below. Jesus is coming from heaven. And now, now you Muslims saying that the Messiah is the word of Allah. Is it true that this word of Allah is a proceeding from Allah? Plus it's possible. But no, is it, you say yes or no? No, it's possible. There's, there's no either yes or no. Okay, let us continue. Is the word of Allah, Aka Aka Isa, is the spirit from Allah which proceeding from Allah? What? Can you repeat? Is the spirit of Isa, is Isa a word or he is a spirit or he is a man? 
is a word. Okay, the Quran chapter 4 verse number 171 says that he is a man, he is a word, and he is a spirit. And you Muslim, yeah. you say, three cannot be one. So how Jesus become a three and one in the same time? This is in the Quran chapter 4 verse 171. Thing. If you, look, the word can mean soul, his soul. This is another Something question. Like Don't that. change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't uh, go around the bushes. You know, the okay. Word so is I, is the Messiah? Uh, you see, a second ago I said to you, is he a word or a spirit or a man? You said to me a word. He can be. He can be both. He can okay, be, but he now can you, a second ago you said no. No, no, no. Do you not understand? Maybe my, my answer. Okay, no problem. Both. So now he can be both. Okay, he can be the word. Can Listen. Spirit okay, hold on. So he can be the word. He can be the man. He can be the spirit at the same time. Correct? Possible. Okay. So why are you Muslim? You say how you believe in the Trinity. Here we go. You have your own Trinity. The Messiah himself as a person is a three in one. He is the word before he become a man. He was a word. The word is a man, yet he is a word, which means the nature of the word did not change because the word of Allah is holy. And you agreed, correct? You said the word of Allah is holy. Yeah, possibly. Okay, the word of Allah, which is holy, become a man. So now we have a holy word, holy man. And this word, which is holy, and the man, which is holy, is a spirit. And that spirit proceeding from Allah. So the, the spirit of Jesus is the spirit of Allah, according to the Quran, correct? The spirit of Jesus come from Allah, yes. No, no, not come. It is the spirit of Allah. It says proceeding from him. Yeah, it's from him. Okay, that, so look what him. happened now. We have Jesus the word, and this is Muhammad is taken from John chapter 1, verse number 1. In the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God. And then the word, verse number 14, the word became a flesh. That's what Muhammad is quoting. And then the spirit is the spirit, is the Holy Spirit. So, Three and one in the same time, but the Muslim they give us headache every day. Says, how in the world you can believe in such a crazy thing? How in the world you can say three and one? How that doesn't make sense. But now uh, suddenly it makes sense. Jesus is the war. Jesus is the man, and Jesus is the spirit of who? Of God, the word of God, the spirit of God, and the man of God. So the spirit of God inside the man is God inside the, the flesh. The word of God inside the man. Actually, the word become a man. That is the power of God, which is manifest in Jesus. The Bible says, so God, he humbled himself. So he took the image of a human being, a humble human being. So you Muslims, you stole a verse from the Bible. You put it in your Quran, and now Muhammad got busted. So if I understand, you mean because uh, uh, he's a God word, uh, he's God also. Well, you are the one who said that God word is holy, correct? Yes. Okay, is God's word is eternal? I think so. Okay. Possibly. Well, you just you just said that Jesus is eternal. What? I didn't understand. You just agreed that Jesus is eternal. Yeah, we must, we Muslims believe that. Okay, so Jesus is eternal. Muhammad is not. Muhammad is dead. Jesus is eternal. Jesus is the word of God. You, I ask you, is Muhammad the word of God? You said no. Is Muhammad the spirit of Allah? No. Jesus only is the word of Allah. Jesus only is the spirit of Allah. And Jesus only is eternal because the word of Allah is eternal. You agreed in all those things. Yeah, I agree he's eternal. Because okay, we now be, let us he, prove. He, he now, died, okay. Died and, uh, okay, thank you. Fine. Thank you for, for agreeing. Now we can prove that Jesus is the God, not Allah. Why? Because the Messiah, the Messiah, Cannot be Allah for a very simple reason. Allah is a stupid God. The Messiah is an extremely, extremely, we can't even imagine how wise he is. Allah, he says stupid things. As you see, the Quran says, the sun set in murky water, and you Muslims struggle to find the, the stupidity, how, do we, how we can fight it, how we can delete it, how we can give it different interpretation. So what do you do? You go around the bushes and you put some candles and etc. just to make the, the image look nicer. Put the candle of Ramadan, put some dish of food and a woman wearing hijab and Islam look beautiful now. But the reality is Islam is stupid from the beginning to the end. So Jesus, Jesus is the wise. Allah is the fool. Uh, you know, do you agree with me that God cannot be fool? Can be? Cannot be fooled. Fooled. Yeah. 
No? Can I fool Allah? No. Okay, I'm going to hang up on you and I will call you after uh, after like few seconds. Is that okay? Because I want to play a video for you. I want you to hear the shake saying that you can deceive Allah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just give me no give me a minute to play it and I will call you back. All right. Can we deceive Allah? The answer is yes. later let's talk about no 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 no. this is what we're talking about if they're willing alhamdulillah we will prove that it's not three in one it's only one la ilaha illahu if they don't i don't need to talk to them they don't have the authority or even they they have the audacity to come and speak to us about the characteristics of the the, the characters of allah and the attributes of allah Azza wa this is ridiculous so does Allah deceive? No, Allah does not deceive. Allah Azza wa Jal meets the things that those disbelievers do in the same fashion because this is what fairness and justice is. Allah does not deceive people. But when you deceive Allah, when you cheat Allah Azza wa Jal, <laughs> Guys, did you hear it? When you deceive Allah, when you cheat Allah. <laughs> Can you deceive Jesus? Can you? What, what he just said? When you deceive Allah, how anyone can deceive God? Allah. When you cheat Allah Azza wa Jal, this injustice is, Allah does not deceive people. But when you deceive Allah, when you cheat Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah will deal with you and treat you in the same fashion you treated him. Ah, so you deceive Allah. So now Allah decided to take revenge and he deceived you too. Hello. But now we have two lost. We have Allah is lost because the second you say he was deceived, that means Allah got lost. So Allah, he looked at himself. Ah, they made fun of me and deceive me. And I am out of the path of the straight way i will not go to heaven now they deceive me uh oh so what i will do i will deceive them because i'm satan huh? this is your shake this is your shake let me call you back <laughs> all right did you hear my friend the the the, the video? Yes. Hmm. So can we deceive Allah? Yeah, I think you mean you know I don't know the ver the verses Wayamkuruna Wayamkuruna Allah Walla Khairun Akirin. Can you translate it because you know Arabic better than me? He, he has the translation in front of you on the screen. Christians say that Allah has the best the best of deceiver. He agreed. He said Allah deceived them because they deceive him. It was a reaction. They deceived Allah. He explained it to you. Makar, 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 makar is a is a plot of evil. Like you know, you do a fool somebody, you deceive somebody, you lie to somebody. Yeah, that's what. Allah okay. Said. So let me ask you. Let me ask you. All right. So can we deceive Allah? It turned to be yes, we can deceive Allah. So how Allah is Almighty God? If I am a human being, simply a human being, can deceive Allah? No, you try. What do you mean try? No, he said they like, deceived him. He said they deceived him and Allah treated them unjustly. So he is deceiving them back. Yeah, it's like in the Bible. Okay. How in the Bible? He, how, how we deceive God? Go ahead. How, there's many stories in the Bible. We are, how we can deceive right God? The, deceive, the God in the Bible, God. he was deceived. He, he, he deceived. You can deceive God in the Bible. Yeah, of course, there is many. Okay, give me, stories. give me an example how you can deceive God. Go ahead. We have nothing. You are fabricating stories now. So Allah, if He is God, you are the one who said to me, nothing like Allah. So well, I, you can deceive me. I can deceive you. People can deceive us. But 
We see. cannot deceive the one who is all knowing. You see, deception is based on what? Based on, I do not know. You lied to me. I believed you. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. no. Yeah, they what? No, no, no. What? No, no. They tried. Well, I'm good. No, 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 no. He said they deceived him. He said they deceived Allah. He did, not, he did not say, okay, how you can deceive Allah anyway? I mean, how you can even try to deceive Allah if you know that he is God? That is even a stupid idea. People are stupid. I don't hear you. Your, your microphone is far away. What? People, people will try because people are stupid. Okay, I will go with you. What's your Shaitan, was Shaitan deceived by Allah or Shaitan, he is the deceiver? Well, what what do you mean by deceiver? Maybe and now you do not know what deceiver means. So after all this talk, suddenly you do not know what deceiver means. No, I want to, I want to hear your explanation because we don't have the... the we just the said, meaning. if you lie to me, I believe your lie, you deceive me. Correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's what so this Eve is lying. This Eve simply is lying to somebody and make him believe in a lie. Do I agree? Yes. Okay. Did Allah lie to Shaitan and deceive him? No. Where did you find it? In the Quran. Do you have your Quran with you? No. Open it. No. Shaitan, he said to Allah, فَلَمَّا أَغْوَيْتَنِي because you deceive me, you lie to me, I'm going to do that to them. So the shaitan is taking revenge for Allah. He did lie to him. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Chapter 15, verse number 39. So because you deceived me, because you mislead me, because you lied to me, you are a liar. So we just heard the sheikh saying, well, they deceived Allah, so Allah decided to deceive them. Exactly. So Allah is Shaitan. Allah is Satan. Here we go. This is the Quran. The, read with me. Read with me. Read with me on the screen, please. Chapter fifteen, let verse me. number thirty-nine. Let me. Let me. Let me try to see it. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't appear. My computer is. Allah, so Allah Just to mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube so we don't have two sounds. Shaitan, Allah is... Ola Rabbi, I didn't see it yet. Okay. Did, did Allah mislead Shaitan and lie to him? We said, Lord, because you mislead. I'm not sure. Yeah, I like him. Okay. So Shaitan is, is a good guy. He's a victim of Allah. Allah, we agree, me and you remember, that if I li if you lie to me and I believe your lie, that is deception. So what happened? Shaitan, he be misled by Allah. Allah taught Shaitan false information to mislead him. Shaitan, in return, he decide to mislead everybody. You do mislead me? Okay, I will mislead everybody. The verse in front of you. And he made an agreement with Allah, and Allah agreed. He said, okay, go ahead. I will check I will check this to see the real meaning. All right, my friend. Right. Well, you know, I, I'm not going to keep you longer, but thank you for calling. You can call me again. I want you to check all those things I said to you and be honest with yourself. And if you want to stay as a Muslim, this is your business. But as you see, Islam is a stupid religion because we just found out that Shaitan himself is a victim of Allah. Even, even Christian, we have we find something very disturbing. No, no, you can you cannot you cannot find anything very disturbing. Uh, hold on, let's hold on. You yeah, find can, you find can, things you find things very disturbing for the Christian, correct? Like what having yeah. having sex with babies? Look, look. Uh, no, then tell me. I mean, disturbing. What disturbing? Ha having sex with babies, like Muhammad having a child wife, or maybe the Prophet asking the hand of an infant. Infant. Just, are afraid. Huh? You are afraid. You don't want me to, to, to read it? Two verses. To read what? Verse. It's Deuteronomy 25, uh -huh. 11. Uh -huh. Can't what? kill a woman what? if he sees his man private part without his permission. Deuteronomy. What, what, what? Re read the verse for me. Okay. Is. 
Deuteronomy 25, 11, okay. 1. Okay. Okay. You uh, can kill a woman if she seizes a man private part without his permission. Deuteronomy. If she seizes or she... Two men are sitting and the, and the wife of one of them come to rescue her husband from his assailant okay. and she receives out and seizes him by his private part, you shall cut off her hand, show her no pity. Is so... It, Okay, let me, let me, so I, I will go with you. Yeah, this is, this is, no, this is the law of the land. This is Musa, the prophet of God. Listen, 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 listen. First of all, I want to ask you, if I'm fighting with you, is it okay for you if your wife, she hold my penis? But if, if because of that you, you, you kill her, you show her, no, no. No, I'm asking you, is it okay for a Muslim woman? Is it okay for a Muslim woman? She joined her husband, you are fighting with me, and now she is holding my penis. Is that okay? It's not okay, but why? No, 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 because no, I want to know. The, 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 the penalty, no, hold on, hold on. The penalty, because you're you're a foolish person I, now. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, let me explain. You asked me the question. You said to me, I'm afraid. You asked me the question already. You don't want to answer? Do you want no, the answer or you want to keep talking? I think you're deflecting, bro. Okay, deflecting. you can say whatever you want. Let me answer you. So, because now he, she will take control of him, because this is a very sensitive part. This is the, not a fair fight. The guy will end killing the other guy because she become a filthy woman. So the women's involvement should not be there at, at, at all. This is not a fair fight no more. Secondly, it's a sexual part. A woman, a decent woman, she should not put her hand there. And Muslim women, they don't have a problem, obviously, to grab the penis of a strange man because your prophet, he allow you to do it. Hold on. Your prophet, he allow you to do muta. Your prophet allow you to do muta. You see, for me, I don't see any problem there because this is not a fair fight. You see, even in the West, even, like even in Europe in the old days, when there's two men they want to fight, nobody involved. Two men, they are fighting. Everybody watch. And there's a judge. So if somebody join, he is betraying. He is not decent. He has no decency. So when the women, she join in such a fight, she's being filthy. She's not even holding the hand of the guy. She's not holding his... He, there's many things you can hold. You could not find anything to hold except his penis. So obviously what we learn from you, that your Muslim Muslim women, they like to hold penises of Christians if you fight together. So now one day, if we go in war with Muslims, all the Muslim women, they will make an army and they will be trained to hold our balls. Just one. What? Okay, because you are deflect your time, man. Look, look, what he said here, Exodus 21, 7, 8, sex mm. slavery condom. When a man sells his daughter as a slave... Why you are changing the topic now? Why you change Why you change the topic? Why you jump from the first one to the second one? Why Why you change? Because the, the, because the first one, listen, listen, listen. When, because the first one, because the first one, you, you were not successful. So now we change. With, what is your answer? What is your answer? What is your answer? What is your answer? Is it stupid because what your answer was stupid? Okay, you hold on. So now, uh, okay, part, part. It's so, so it's a stupid. If it's it's it's, it's a stupid. Okay, it's a stupid. It's a stupid. So you Muslim women, you, uh, just just say just say clearly, just say clearly, my friend, just say clearly. We as Muslims, we have no problem if our Muslim wife she grab your penis. Say it. I, I will not kill my wife because she grabbed. It's, it's not you who clean her. It's not you who clean her. It's not you who clean her. You know. I'm yeah, asking you, you, are, you are you okay you if your wife, she grabbed my penis when I'm fighting with you? Say yes. So you will, you, you will cut your, your, your wife. I am saying, I am saying, say yes. Say it because the Jews are very conservative, not like you Muslims, you do breastfeeding for old. So this is a big, big problem. What kind of a woman she would do that? This is very filthy. So because you are a low class, like your prophet, you accept that, no problem. Is it true that is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, you are talking about oh, okay. The men are if she does not plead the man, what who bought her, she may allow her to bought back. But okay, the, the slavery you are talking about a man, a man he can hold on, a man he can sell himself, a man, let me answer you, let me answer you. A man he can sell himself, he can sell his daughter, but this is seven years of slavery. She is not a slave for sex, she is a servant. In the old days, they rent themselves as servants, Bro, not as God, sex God. slaves. Listen, yeah. And the max, the max, the max is seven years. So you own I own your money. You don't you cannot you cannot uh, you know I cannot I cannot pay you back. I say to you, I am this is the last Bro. offer I give you. If you say no, if you say no, if you say no, you cannot ask me for the debt. So I say to you, I am going to sell myself to you for the coming three years 
equal to the money I should pay you back, then you work for him as a slave for the coming three years. This is what the verse is saying. No, no, no. It's not up to you. I mean, it's there. <laughs> the man says, says his daughter as a slave. She yes, the understand. same. His daughter, his wife, himself, doesn't matter. The whole family can be. The whole family, they can be sold. You see, you are just being, being an idiot. Uh, let me ask you, let me ask you. So are you are you against are you against a slave are you against slavery or support slavery? Well, that's a stupid question. We will, uh, no, no, don't move, don't move. Why are you are open a topic? You don't want to talk about it anymore. You said you see, you said to me you are scared. I answered you. I'm asking you now, are you against slavery or you support slavery? Of course I'm against slavery. So did your prophet own black slaves? And you are an African. A black slave. Yeah, did your prophet own black slaves, not only one? I didn't see any. If you can show me. You are saying to me that you do not know that your prophet, he owned many slaves. No. Do you swear by I Allah didn't. that you never heard that before? That's what I'm telling you. No, swear by Allah that you never heard that your prophet, yeah. he owned slaves. Yes, yes. If you can show me, I, I can look at no, no, I, I want you to swear because I cannot believe, I cannot believe, I cannot believe that a growing man who he claimed he speak Arabic, he never heard that he's a prophet, he owns slaves and African slaves too. Yeah, I speak a little bit, little bit. He's not like you. I'm not, uh, uh, he's not my native language. I just learn it. I don't I care about knowledge. Yeah. Well, we are not talking about language now. We are talking about, do you know, you heard before that your prophet, he owns slaves? No, no, no. Can you swear by Allah? I already swear. Why you don't want to swear? What the problem? I don't know. What do you mean? If you can show me. Huh? I didn't. What? Can you show me where? Where is it? No. Why you don't no. swear? I never, no. I never, I never heard that Muhammad, he have slaves. Why you don't swear? Yes, I swear. Huh? How can, how do you want me to swear? You swear, say, I swear, I, I swear by Allah, I never, I never, I never heard that Muhammad, I never heard, I never heard that Muhammad, he have slaves. Yeah, Bilal, I never heard. You never heard? Okay, no? okay, have you ever heard of Bilal before? Bilal is a slave, but he was not. He was not uh, what? Uh, the, the prophet slave. Oh, so he was in the house of Muhammad washing this is all time for what? Uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are mixing everything. He, he was a, he was the account. slave of whom? Oh, hold on, hold on. He was the slave of whom? Well, you are the scholar. Tell me who. who is he is a slave of who? You you tell me. You are the, you, you 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 are the one who gave me the answer. You said he was not a slave of the prophet. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, so he was a slave. He was a slave of who? So he was a slave. Okay, so he was a slave. Slave to who? I don't know the man. Hmm. Before he, uh, he was freed, and then uh, where where it says he was freed? Show me. But that that the Sira. I don't know exactly. My friend, let me get you busted. Here we go. Bilal, Bilal. He asked Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. He gave uh, Bilal as a gift a slave to Muhammad. So Bilal is a gift from from Abu Bakr. Muhammad. Uh, he bought by Abu Bakr. He gave him to Muhammad, and Muhammad always received Amazon gift, which is slaves. So Muhammad it was the master, but slave was the owner. So he said to him, "If you if you bought me for the sake uh, for the sake of Allah, then free me for the sake of Allah." Is that correct? If you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. Is that correct? Where is it? Okay, and now you will say to me, "It's fabricated." No, if it's the truth, I will check it. You are giving me some information I didn't know. I'm not gonna lie. All right. If it's true, I will tell you it's, it's true. I will check it. Okay. If he, he no. said Sahih, it's not. Maybe it's true. All right. If it's true, I will okay, hold on. You said to me if it's Sahih or Isnad, you said to me if it's Sahih or Isnad, you accept it, correct? I, I, I said I, I saw it. It's, it's written there, Sahih is not. Okay, not here we go. But how come when I showed you this hadith here, you said to me, this is not true, fabricated. Here we go. It says Sahih or Isnad.
that was really not so much. I told you, the information you are giving me so much information, I did it now. My friend, you good. told me, I showed you the hadith, you told me this is a fabrication. And now you are saying to me, if you show me a hadith which is Sahih or Isnad, you accept. No, I'm telling you, I, I, I show it now. It's Sahih or Isnad, because if they say Sahih. Okay, so now do you, do you accept the, what I said to you that Muhammad, he said the sun set in a warm, muddy water? No, if you say Sahih, maybe it's. Yes, if that will be stupid then. Okay, we just approved that Muhammad is stupid. Thank you very much. I didn't say that. You just said it's stupid. The idea. What idea? This is what your prophet said. That's what I said. That is stupid. It, it doesn't make sense. Okay, exactly. But now you cannot say it's fabricated. So all now our argument is when I showed you this, you run away from place to place, jumping like a monkey from place to place. Why? Because I, I showed you this hadith. Yeah. You said to me, I don't accept it. It's fabricated. The Jews make it. And now you made yeah. a mistake. Getting yourself yeah. busted saying you accept the hadith which Sahih or Isnad. And guess what? It says here, Hukmun, Hukum, Sahih or Isnad. Yeah, I said if it's so, weak, and now you yeah, said, said if this is true, if this is true, this is stupid. But now you are you are sure it's true because you said you accept the hadith if it's sahih or it's not. Yeah, because uh, yes, yeah, sahih is not. It mean, you know, many many uh, ulama agreed on it. Okay, so that means Muhammad is a fraud. Do you agree? You are the one who said this doesn't make sense. You are the one who said to me, you are, you have you misunderstanding. You are the one who said to me, oh, this is the wrong translation. You are the one who said to me, this is made by the Jews. And now it turned to be that this is what all the scholars agree upon. And it's true. It's Sahih or it's not. It didn't make sense. You, 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 why, you are, why you are saying your prophet does not make sense? Are you insulting him saying he's stupid? I'm not saying my prophet. Well, you just said his words. You just said his word does not make sense. So now you are standing in front of your prophet saying to him, Hey, Muhammad, what you offer, whatever you are saying, it doesn't make sense. No. You did. Yes, this, yes, you did. Yes. You agreed that this is a correct story now. You cannot say, I, I, I can deny it. The, the the story of the Jews made it, uh, you know, you came with it in the beginning. It, it been destroyed in two seconds. And now we have a clear evidence, authentic, approved by you, that Muhammad, he said this, and you agreed that this does not make sense. Yeah, of course. That's my answer. What do you answer? You answer mean what? You answer me, Muhammad is a false prophet. The story doesn't make sense. The story of Muhammad does not make sense. Thank you very much. And that's why we are like, saying Muhammad is a false prophet. So when you say the story of Muhammad, make it clear. The story of my prophet Muhammad does not make sense. Obviously, he is a liar. The story doesn't make sense. I will not be a liar or something like this. When you say the story does not make sense, either the story is true or the story is a fabricated and remember you are the one who said this is a fabricated story in the beginning why because it doesn't make sense yes, and, you, yes. and not only that you said you said to me the Jew, you said to me the jews the jews the jews behind it correct you said that so you are the one who connected the dots you said if it does not make sense it must be made by the jews it must be a lie so now we did not change the topic this is the same hadith the same reference it. Suddenly, it is authentic, and now it doesn't still doesn't make sense. Is it a lie from Muhammad, or just doesn't make sense? Doesn't make this one doesn't make sense. Okay, so are you saying your prophet he is fabricating where the sun set? He is giving us false knowledge. Remember when you call me, I said to you, you Muslims associate the knowledge of Allah. With the knowledge of your prophet, you said to me, yes, sure, what not? You know, the best, uh, the prophet and his Allah and Allah knows best. He's a prophet. You said that and you agreed. Okay, the same, the exact story we talk about in the beginning. Allah and his apostle knows best. So this is the best knowledge of Allah and Muhammad. Muhammad, he claimed that he have his knowledge from Allah. So the best knowledge of Allah and Muhammad is the sun set in a muddy spring hot water. Hmm? That's what I said. I said what I said. It doesn't make sense. 
Okay, so is, so why you are a Muslim? Why you don't leave Islam? Uh, that's what I told you. I'm looking for the truth. Maybe okay, I'm, but now we showed I'm, you, my friend, if you are looking for the truth, I showed you the verse in the Quran. I showed you the confirmation from the Hadith. The Hadith is Sahih chain, and you said you accept Sahih chain, and the Quran is a Quran. So now we con we connect them together. The Quran says, "Until he reached the sitting place of the sun." He found the sun sitting in spring of muddy water, spring, not ocean. The Muslim delight, they say, oh, like when you go in the ocean, you see the sun going down. It says in the Quran, spring, spring. It's not an ocean. There's a huge difference between spring and ocean. So now we connect them together. This one confirmed the Quran. We'll check on this one. Huh? I will check on this one. What do you mean you will check? You just already, you already checked. I will check. Because uh, the translation, everything. I don't care for translation, my friend. You are the one who who claim you speak Arabic and you know Arabic. I show it to you in no. Arabic. I show it to you in Arabic. It's just a short sentence. Hal tadri ayna taghrib al-shams? Hadhi qal tu qal Allah wa Rasuluhu alam qal inna ha taghrib fi ayn hamia. So what translation? You claim you know Arabic, and now we are showing it in your Islamic translation, and we are showing it in your website, and we are showing you it's Sahih chain, and we are showing you the reference and the number, and now you agreed that if it's Sahih chain, you approve it. So what is missing? That's right. It doesn't make sense. I have to do my own. Thank you very much. Right now. now, okay. So Muhammad and Islam doesn't make sense, and the Muslims agree with me. That's wonderful. Here we go. And now let us go to Bilal because we did not want to skip the story. Bilal was begging for freeing him. As long as you are against slavery, and you don't like slavery, and Muhammad he owns tons of slaves, including the slaves he have sex with them. Did he have sex with Bilal? Did he? Can you show me that? Where, where did you get this hadith from? This is Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Hmm. Okay, from where? Sunnah? Sunnah, no? Dot com? Dot com, yeah. Can you show Can you show me the hadith? Him, I'm sir. showing you on the screen. Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you have bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, for Allah's sake, then leave me. So Muhammad died, and now Bilal become under the command of Abu Bakr again, because Bilal died. Sorry, Muhammad died. So now Bilal coming to Abu Bakr, please, you know, let me go, man. I spend my life serving Muhammad. You promise me, you know, the prophet, you will go to heaven, Bilal. But I still a slave. So why you're a prophet? He have a black slave. Interesting. Hmm. Mm. No, it says if you am, but myself to keep yourself, but you should. You say from what? what? Bukhari? Bukhari it's... 3755. It's interesting to see. Okay. Let me ask you. Did Muhammad made fun of the black people how they look like? No, I didn't have the information. Okay, I will share the information with you. This is how your prophet described Bilal. Literally speaking about Bilal. Bilal is a slave and he is black and he have a strong body. So Muhammad, he made him a command of a bunch of Arab youth. He said to them, he is your command now, but those Arab, they could not take a black person, the white men, white Arab. A black slave is our leader. So he look what he said to him. The prophet said, listen and obey your chief. Who is the chief now? Is Bilal. But he's still not free. Just this is for war now. He's going for war. Even if he's an Ethiopian with his head, with head like a raisin, we are made your chief. Do your prophet describe the head of a black man, raising head? Prophet, listen and obey your chief. Where is it? Uh, even if an Ethiopian would have a like reason. Uh, and this uh, hadith is Sahih? This is Bukhari. This is all Sahih. Bukhari, don't you see Bukhari? Bukhari 7142. Bukhari 696. Bu uh, Bukhari, I mean, all of this is Sahih. And you are saying to me, is it Sahih? 
if Muhammad is a decent man, he will say, okay, so what if he is a slave? So what if he's a black? Why is making fun of his head? Yeah, interesting. What interesting? Each time I show you something, you say interesting? Yeah, yes. Mm. Let me ask you. You mentioned to me how Allah created Adam, correct? Mm -hmm. How the children of Adam are made? How what? How the children of Adam are made? The children? Children, children. The children? Mm. Of Adam. Huh? Uh, with Hawa, his wife? Uh, Adam and Hawa, they have sex, right? Yeah, okay. I think so. Will your prophet have different opinion? Your prophet, he said, that when Allah, he created Adam, he hit his left shoulder and he did, his right shoulder, sorry, first, and he did create the white people from there, from the right shoulder. And then he hit the left shoulder of Adam and he created the black people from there. And then he said to the one from the right shoulder, you go to heaven and I don't care. And he said to the black ones, you go to hell and I don't care. What do you think about this? Where is it? Where, where is it? Where did you? Let me show you the reference. Yeah, yeah, show me. Okay, but if, but if this is true, what you will do? You will leave Islam or you will stay as a Muslim? I will consider. No, I'm I'm seeking the truth. No I know I have some but no, I want you to be honest with me. You see, I I I, I, I am not. I am trying my best to to help you. No problem. But I want you to be honest with me at the same time. Maybe if you give me some, I can take those point and send it to to, to, to my shake and see if okay. he deflect. What do you mean your shake? Is your shake like he is going to create a new religion for you now? No, no, no. I will ask him. Okay, what do you think about it? Is this true? Is it okay? Okay. If that is true, so uh, are, like, is your faith depend on the Sheikh what he say, or depend in what Muhammad said? No, because I have to know every con. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a scholar or something like this. I'm just seeking the truth. You see, uh, the, so now the Sheikh. What do, what do you expect the Sheikh will say to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, you are being hypocrite now. I mean, even this one need a Sheikh. He he hit the left shoulder of Adam and he created the black people. He hit Wait, the right shoulder. You didn't, you didn't, see me. You didn't show me. Uh, Here we go. Where is it? If somebody have it in English, post it in the chat, please. This is Sunan al Turmudi. This is a Sahih hadith. Sahih. Fair number five, page number 249. Where, where? Uh, which book? At Turmudi. Sunan al Turmudi. Uh huh. Very number five. It's on the screen. Page number two four nine. And you claim that you speak Arabic. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm using my because I'm I'm, okay. I'm talking with my phone. I'm using it says my here, computer. Maybe. Inna Allah خلق آدم ثم مسح ظهر ظهره بيمينه فأخرج منه ذرية etc. And he continues saying. I'm sorry. Let me try to find you the English version. Hold on. Just give me a second. Hold on. I want to find the, the English one. And I will give you the reference more. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm writing down. Interesting. Let us see. So according to the hadith, Allah created the black people to go to hell from the beginning, and He created the white people to go to heaven from the beginning. And was this was a destiny. So let us see. Uh, I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Did you okay, have it in give me, way? give me a second, please. Give me a second. I will show you the Islamic translation.
Okay. This is here, Musnad Ahmad. You see, I'm giving you more than one reference, but this is in Arabic. I will show you in English too. Musnad Ahmad, hadith number 27488. It says here, from, 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 from the Prophet. When Allah, he created Adam, when he created him, he hit his right shoulder. From there, uh, uh, offspring, white offspring came out like white ants. And he hit his left so, uh, uh, shoulder and a black offspring came out as if they are shirkur. And then he said to the one from the right shoulder, which means the white, you go to heaven and I don't care. And to the one who is in the left of hand, that let me. It is the Hadassana high sum. Is is the one you are seeing in your screen now? Yeah, yeah. Hadith number two seven four eight eight. Okay, okay. Mm. You can carry on. Okay, so what? Why? Why you are a black person who believe and follow a person he believe that you are created to go to hell and you are evil from the first day just because you are black. How in the world any black can follow such a garbage? Where is the, uh, the, the, is the, you mean Adam mean black here? Huh? Is that you mean? What? Where is the, the black color? Is Adam? No, Adam is not a black. Adam is a white man. Allah created the white offspring of Adam from his right shoulder. Allah created the black offspring from the left shoulder. He said, he said uh, to the one from the black shoulder, from the right shoulder, you go to heaven and I don't care. And he said to the one from the left shoulder, you go to hell and I don't care. The one from the uh, black shoulder, uh, sorry, from the uh, right shoulder, they are the black, they are the white, sorry. And the one from the left shoulder, they are the black. This is your, this so, is, this is your destiny. This is your destiny, according to Muhammad. By I mean white, and Sauda I mean black. Is that you saying? Uh, Sauda, yeah, Sauda. Dhuriya, Sauda. Dhuriya is offspring. And what about Sauda? What's... Sauda, Sauda I mean black. Offspring, Dhuriya is a offspring. Sauda is black. So the offspring, they are black. They are the same as Shurkur. Let me show it to you in English. Hold on. Here we go. This is in English. That will make it easier for you. And this is translated by you Muslims. And this is the same hadith we are reading from Muslim Ahmad. It says here, Abu Darda said, reported that Allah Messenger saying, God created Adam when he created him and struck his right shoulder and brought forth his offspring white like small ants. And then he struck his left shoulder and brought forth offspring black as they were, circle. Then he said to the party from the right side, which means the white one, to paradise, and I don't care. And he said to the party from the left shoulder, to hell, and I don't care. And this is Sahih. Here we go. It says, you know how to read Sahih, right? Read it. Does it say, Hukum Sahih? Okay. Does it say Sahih or I'm lying? No, my I'm 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 little bit late. I don't okay. know. You are okay. I'm showing it to you now. You you will see it soon. English, the English one. Okay. Do you yeah. when you see the Arabic read for me? Does it say Sahih, which means authentic? Yeah, it's not Sahih. Yes, yes. Okay, it's not Hassan and Sahih, both together. Yeah, okay. Sahih, so. This is what your prophet said about you as a black. And you want to be a Muslim? Interesting. What interesting? I mean, this is interesting. This is disgusting. Aren't you ashamed to be a black person? And you say this is interesting. If I am the one who said, oh, no, 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 black no, no, people will go to hell, you know, then you no, will no, no, say, no, no. huh? Your information is interesting. That's what I mean. It's what? Not the the information you are giving me is interesting that's what i mean okay but what do you what do you say about this what you say give me your thought 
as a black person. Mm. It I, doesn't I, seem right. It doesn't seem right. What, what just uh, just doesn't seem right. If if a Christian no. prince he says the black people will go to hell, you will say only doesn't say right, or you will say you are racist, you are disgusting, shame on you. Look what your Bible say. Look in the Bible it says a person he can sell his daughter slavery. Blah 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 blah. He can even sell himself. And suddenly, suddenly it's okay. I mean, interesting. Doesn't seem right. The guy is talking about you, 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 the black you. I am offended and I'm not black because me as a Christian, I believe that God created Adam in his image, which means all of us black, white, Asian, doesn't matter. We are the image of God. We don't care. This is why you will never see somebody, he claimed, unless like the, the, the racist, those, they call themselves a black Hebrew, saying that Jesus is black or white. Jesus have nothing to do with, with the black and white and Asian. Jesus is for everybody. For God, he loved the world. He said it's only begotten son. The Bible says clearly, there is no Hebrew, there is no Greek, there is no free, there is no slave. For all of us is one in Jesus. I mean to that. Here, no. You are created as a black. And because you are, you are a black for a reason, according to Muhammad. Because you will go to hell. Isn't it true that all the people of hell are black? No, I see some 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 verse. Yeah, what you have? I don't know. I I, I forgot the verse. Yeah, I can. Is, I, no problem. I will yeah. show it to you in a second. No problem. You're talking to Christian Prince. I know the Quran, all of it. I have all the laundry of Muhammad. The sweat do you? I swear that you. There's many verses, not only one. I I knew about that verse. Yeah. So in the day of judgment, Allah will make all bad people black. All good people white, which mean everybody in hell is black. This is your Quran, and this exists in many locations in the Quran. But this is an example, chapter 3, verse 106. Yes, yes, I, I knew about that, that, that one before. Mm. Okay. And even look, there's some Christian, they are helping you in the chat. I don't know if you can see the chat. A Christian, his name is Christian Hero saying, in the book of Asbab al Nuzul, mm. it says the following. I'm going to show you what he is saying. Asbab al Nuzul of Al Waqidi, Surah, Surah 9, okay, Surah 9, verse, uh, verse number 61, was revealed about a, a, a person, Nibtal, uh, the black man whom Muhammad said, People should look like uh, if they if they want to see Satan. So Muhammad, he want he want them to see how Satan look like. You want to see how Satan look like? Okay, look at this black man. That's what your prophet said. Do you want to see how Satan look like? And you, as a Muslim, as a black, you accept to follow such a filthy prophet? You people, you have no shame. You lost your dignity. You want to be, you want to be, you want to be slave for the Arab. You want to be slave to the white Arab. You know what? What? What we uh, we are taught in Islam. You understand that? You see, you are the one who said to me, you, you know, you accept, you accept uh, 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 what is authentic, right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, so, Akramakum and Allah at Qaqum. So, how that work? So, the best of you is the one who... That's what they, 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 that's what they, 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 they teach us in their madrasa or something. Okay, my friend, nobody, my friend. Nobody, friend. nobody will, will tell you that there. Okay, Ask so, any, any black Muslim if they know maybe about that. I don't, I don't know. I know, because I know. I, I agree with you, my friend. I, me, myself, I have, the, I have, my, my friend, my friend. I'm not like you. I don't have the knowledge you have. My, my you friend, no done. problem. Mr. I don't know what's your name. What's your name, by the way? It's Lelianke. Lelianke? Okay. Me, me, myself, I have a degree in Islamic law. I never learned any of this. Teacher, don't teach us this. They don't show us the, the garbage of Muhammad. Okay. That's what I tell you. They tell you about okay. my uh, brother who something. Okay. I know the Arabic, but now, the but now you know. Have, Listen, Lilak, 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 my friend. Now you know. Now you know. 
Do you have any excuse to say I do not know and I'm going to stay a Muslim? Be honest with me. Now you know, and this is authentic. No, that's 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 not that's not the right. I so, know my I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Is it good? It was good talking to you, because but I know also. Maybe if, if I didn't go to, to to some, I will stay. I will stay like this because it doesn't make sense to me the religion now. Everywhere you go is the same thing. You have some bullshit. So now you agree that Islam is full of bullshit. But look at this, you know. Any religion, I think. No, so no, now. my friend, no, no. You see, religion, religion, maybe with the Christ, there is no religion. Christianity is not a religion. In Christ, you are a child of God. It doesn't matter if you are black, or white, or Asian. If you have a big nose, if you have a small nose, if you have a big eyes, small eyes. That's why you will see nowhere in the Bible describing how Jesus even looked like, because we don't care how he looked like. Do we you don't care. In the, in the Old Testament, huh? Will the Old Testament? Do you believe? Why? Why we will not believe? Ah, because it's, there is so many strange things I read about from this book. My friend, when you understand, when you understand, when you read the, uh, there's many things you need to learn. That when you read an uh, and like this is an ancient book. This is not an, a book written yesterday. So it's an ancient, not like the Quran. It's an ancient book compared to the Quran. Quran is a new book compared to the Old Testament. So we are talking about people at that time when life is totally different. And we are trying to imagine how life is today and how it was then. And then we try to put what it was yesterday and we make it fit with today. That will not work. However, God, he created Adam and Eve free. God he is not enslaving people. People enslave themselves to the devil. People, they want to enslave people. As an example, the nation of Israel themselves, they've been enslaved, the whole nation. Never happened before that the whole nation taken a slave. Not one, not two, not hundred, not five thousand. The whole nation, them and their uh, equipment and their goat and their, their cows and their sheep, they took the whole nation with them back to Egypt. The whole nation back with them to 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 Iraq. So, we, when we read about slavery, I don't judge it the same way we you know like we see it today. But in the same time, we look at the ethic. Your God is not judging you. You see, the God of the Bible. When the Jews go wrong, they go wrong. He don't support them. This is why they've been punished. This is why they've been actually, uh, 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 many enemies came uh, 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 upon them. So the Bible says it clearly that God don't take the side of the Jews just because they are Jews. When they are wrong, he is against them. When they are right, he support them. In your religion, you Muslim, you support Islam, doesn't matter if it's wrong or right. Doesn't no, matter no. if it's zero ethic no, or not. No. Yes, this is what you are doing. This is what you are doing. And now you are doing the same. So if I ask you right now, if I ask you right now, what is the reason for me to go to hell? What you will say? Because I'm black. Yeah, according to them. Not according to them. It's according to your prophet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know when yeah, I, when when, I, I, Muhammad, when Muhammad described when Muhammad described. You see, I'm showing you right now the book of Asbab al Asbab al Nuzul. Muhammad he told them, if you want to see someone shaitan, look at this black man. A man, read with me carefully, the verse was revealed about one hypocrite who was named Nabtal, Ibn al-Harith. This man was dark, skin, and I find it very funny that his name is Ibn al-Harith. Al-Harith is one of the names of the devil. Al-Harith is the name of the devil. So Ibn al-Harith, his man who was dark-skinned, red-eyed, burned in the cheek, and deformed, deformed, he said, it is this man about whom the Prophet Allah bless with him and give him peace. Whoever want to look at the devil, let him look at Neptal Ibn al Harith. Yeah, that's some. So, do you know the hadith that said uh, the Arab is not? Uh, I don't know. My friend fabricated. Fabricated, uh, yeah. fabricated, 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 fabricated. It's false. You see, this is this is the speech the, the Muslim they say. This is the last speech Muhammad he made in his life. Correct? 
Oh, that's what they that's what they teach us. I'm okay, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. I, I, I want you to think with me. And I can ask you many Muslim, many of okay. maybe are my friend, my friend. L uh, Lil, I, I have difficult to say your name. Sorry if I say it wrong. Lilank, Lilank, correct? Lilank? Yeah, Lil Yankee. Lil Yankee, yeah. okay. Okay. So, which country are you from, if you don't mind? Uh it's West Africa, Guinea. But I'm not living there. West Africa? Yes. What country name? It's the name is the West Africa, the name of the country? No, Guinea, Guinea. Guinea, I never heard of that. Okay. Excuse my ignorance. Oh, so, Senegal? Huh? Senegal? You didn't know Senegal? Yeah, you know Senegal, Senegal. yeah. Okay, yeah. It's, it's near. It's... Okay, okay. Thank you for telling me. So, you know, uh, uh, when, when, uh, when we describe Satan, why wouldn't describe him as a white man? You know, how many times, I don't know if you listen to me every day, I say Joe Biden is satanic, is Satan. I say Democrat vote for him, they are voting for Satan. But he's a white man. I came to you uh, maybe two weeks ago. Okay. I show you our stuff. All right. So, so what's Satan have to do with, what's Satan have to do, to do with the color? You know how Satan can be uh, defined by, by, the, by the color of the skin. Same time, like your prophet, uh, because he's racist, he have a phobia. Anything is black is Satan for him. Did he order to kill spe specifically black dogs? You heard that before? No, no, no. Okay. Muhammad, he made it clear that black dogs are the devil. Okay, why? Why the black dog is the devil? I mean, how in the world uh, he come to such conclusion? Because he's racist. All the fault of this poor dog is black. And Muhammad, he said, kulla aswadin bahim. Kill every pure black. Do you see it in the screen? And this is Sahih. Even they asked Muhammad, Prophet, what distinguish? No, I brought you and down. If you can send all of this in message, is this possible? The number? I, I want you to do this after we finish. You can oh, go okay. to the chat. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, you can go uh, and watch the video and take the reference. I'm showing the reference in yeah. front of me, you know? Yeah. So here it says, Zami uh, At-Turmudi, Hadith number 338, Sahih. Mishkat al Masabih, Sahih. At-Turmudi, Hassan. An-Nisai, Sahih. Ibn Majah, Sahih. Ibn Majah, Sahih. All of this is Sahih. Okay. But let's go to the most authentic books Muslims they like, you know, like n not necessarily those. Maybe we can find it in Al Bukhari. Let us see Al Bukhari. Here we go. Al Bukhari. Let's go up. If we can find it in Al Bukhari, where is Al Bukhari? Is it Al Bukhari? Oh, this is Sahih Muslim. That will be do. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 510A. Muhammad, he described women are equal to dogs, which is a shameful thing because no one will accept somebody to call his mother a dog, correct? So look what he said. I said, oh, Abu Dhar, what feature there in the black dog? Because Muhammad, he said that the three things would will, will, will destroy a Muslim man a prayer, a dog and a donkey and a woman. He said a black dog, not just a dog. Not a dog, black dog. So he, I, he asked the person, he said, oh, Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar is one of the companions of Muhammad, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. What feature is there in the black dog which distinguish it from red dog or yellow dog? He said, O oh, son of my brother, I ask the messenger of Allah as you ask me. He said, the black dog is the devil. Mm. Yeah. My friend, if I am you, I will leave Islam immediately. This is disgusting. And this is not, I mean, this is not even fair. I mean, even animals? Dog, he's just a stupid dog. The, 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 the black dog now is the devil? Why? What he did? Does not make sense. Let me introduce for you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Satan. This is Satan by himself in the front of us. 
I mean, isn't it obvious that he is Satan? What's wrong with you? Why you cannot see it? Look at him. Muhammad, finally, he found us how we can find Satan. He's a black dog. And what distinguishes red dog from a black dog? Nothing except a black dog is Satan. I mean, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? Unless he worship garbage. Do you have any blow a black dog around you? Please don't kill him, okay? Be careful. I mean, come on, don't believe in this, huh? Don't go and practice Islam now and attack the black dogs. I know that you are shocked with I what you learned. I wonder, I wonder what this guy will say because I will brought this to him. I wonder if he will deflect or something. You wonder what? I wonder what he's gonna tell me. The shake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will give you all the executors we know. Don't listen to the Christian. Don't those people, they are trying to deceive you. They are the, they're working for the devil. They, but everything I saw to you, I said to you, it's in the, in the, in the, I showed you on the screen. Is that correct? Yes, yes. And you know, if the Muslim no, scholars, they have it and nobody complained, did you ask yourself, why the white Arab? And they are the one who filtered the Hadith. Remember, even Ibn Ishaq, he said, that everything is not suitable about the Prophet. We took it off. We took it off. So they left only what is good. Which means this is after filtering all the garbage of Muhammad. And this is the good. So if this is the good, what is bad? If I am you, I will denounce Islam immediately. I will never accept to follow such a filthy man like this. Kill every pure black. Every pure black. What is the crime? He is a pure black. That's all. Like, you know, if you say, oh, this black dog, he did bite my son, kill him. Okay, I would say, okay, maybe this is a, a dog, he have a rabies or something at that time. Okay. Just because he's black? That's it? The Messenger of Allah said, if it's not where that dogs were part of nation among the nations, then I would order to kill all of them to be killed. So kill every one of them that is all black. Do you see it? Kill the one which all black. If you are cute, you have some white. Okay, no, this guy is, is not totally black. You know, his mother, she is white. So his father maybe is like, uh, you know, Spaniel, say senor. So let him live, you know, he's fine. But if he is a pure black, oh man, this is black, black. Kill. Uqtulu kulla aswadin bahim. Sahih, as you see. Authentic. What is the crime? He is pure black. This is why the Muslims, they kill anything they see black. Cat, black cat, black raven, black, any, any, anything black. A Muslim, if you see a black chicken, a chicken is totally black, oh no. You will not find in the Middle East somebody have a black, black chicken. This is the devil. I don't hear you, my friend. What you say? I didn't know that. Well, now you know. So what you want to do about it? You want to just go to the sheikh and he will start lying to you, say to you. So as long it is sahih and already you are convinced this is a true. Okay, my friend, as long you agreed that this is sahih, it's true. So why you need, I, I'm not against you to go to the sheikh. You can call him right now to join us. I don't need him to go, but I, I want him 
because this is hiding stuff and many of us don't know about this i think if many of okay. us okay so for me i want to say that already you left islam because already you don't accept this correct now nah, like you may doubt my my, my faith all right because uh, i knew there was too many rushing my friend i'm so happy that i spoke to you today even though we spent many hours talking but God, God is helping you. God gave you a hand today so you can see the truth and the truth will set you free. So I'm happy for you that you have a huge doubt about Islam and you are not Muslim no more. This is not right. There's no, there's no person in the world will accept such a garbage. I'm happy for you. Thank you for calling me. Even though you made me lose my voice. Thank you. Excuse me if I caught you. Well, I am happy to have you, and you are welcome always to contact me. And you can uh, you can offer my challenge to all the sheikhs. You know, tell them if you are a man, call this guy. Will he convince me? Can you convince can me back? Calling? Huh? Can I? Can I then call him after? And send you a message. This is your number. Right? Enter uh, like uh, uh, when I I'm not online. My Skype is offline, so you only send me a message. I will be offline. When you see me online, that means Skype. I'll open Skype. You know, you know what I mean? Okay, I will, I will try. It. Yeah, I and just remind me of yourself because uh, you know I have like thousand people that text me every day, so you know. Uh, but I want you to challenge those shakes. Say to them, "This guy, he made me lose my faith. This is cannot be from God. What about you? Call him." Where is the man of you who can convince me back that Islam is from God? Where is the man of you can get him busted? Let, this guy is making thousands and thousands and thousands of Muslims leave Islam. Where are you, the sheikhs? And if no, they don't want to debate me... That's a good idea. Huh? We can do because they have more knowledge than me. That's a good idea. They don't have knowledge. Trust me, they have. They are potatoes. You see, those are making money. Nobody have knowledge about Islam because even the sheikhs, they are just copy-paste. What knowledge? This is the knowledge. It's in the books. And the knowledge there is scary. What knowledge? And I never spoke to a Muslim who claimed to be a sheikh with beard and he knew even what he's talking about. And this is what I'm saying to you. I want you to challenge them just to show you. You just sit and watch. You know, just to bring the guy to me. Don't tell him Christian Prince. Tell him there's a guy. Because if you tell him a Christian Prince, they will search me and they will... Get intimidated. Don't tell them he's an Arab. Don't tell them he speaks Arabic. Don't tell them anything. Tell them there's a guy. He is causing us to leave Islam. Who of you will stand for the sake of Allah? And Allah will reward him by debating him. Get him busted. And let us see. And yes, it watch. Okay. I will right? do it. Hopefully, he will come and. All right, my friends. Thank you very much for calling. We pray that uh, uh, I ask all the Christians here to pray for our friend here. Uh, Lilianki uh, to to stay away from Islam forever and we pray too that he will see the truth and he will read the gospel and he will accept the Messiah as his Lord and Savior as soon as he study it very well and learn about it very well things will be clear the same as today we made it clear for him that Islam is satanic so thank you my friend for calling may the Lord bless you and we pray for you to see the truth and the truth will set you free do you want to say anything? Oh, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Good. You're welcome. Take care. Uh, before you go, what you thought about me before you call me? Do you thought about me as a liar? Be honest. Well, something like this. Okay. So you have like a bad image about me. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. And what do you th what do you think now? After you are knowledgeable, even though I don't about the Bible itself, I didn't agree, but what you told me about the Hadith, the Quran, and the verse, verses. Was I, you, was I truthful? Was I truthful with you? Am I truthful with you? It's all about the, the Quran and the Hadith and something. That's why it will be good to to, to, uh, to make them call you to right. have, a, have a debate. As they claim they have knowledge. Because I think that's the that. All right. Well, we are happy for you and thank you again for calling and God bless you. Take care.
Lord have mercy. You know, like you get headache from screaming, shouting, showing reference. And that's what I feel now, actually. I have a headache. But the reward is a priceless. All the headache, all the, you know, like, you know, it's, uh, you know, like when you go live, I mean, you, you don't know what, what, what people will bring on you or throw at you. And you have to be ready mentally, spiritually. Uh, you have to be, same time, able to convince, uh, be patient. You know, many, many things take a lot of effort. It's very tiring. But isn't it beautiful at the end? I will go right now, make some tea, some coffee, relax. And I'm very grateful for the Lord that he sent me this young gentleman from West of Africa. He mentioned the name, I forgot. Excuse me, the name is strange for me, the country. He said the close, uh, you know. Uh, but isn't it amazing feeling all of us we enjoy that the person he called me to prove me to be a liar. And by proving me a liar, he's trying to prove all Christians to be liars. And then it end in a scenario he was not expecting himself. He was struggling himself, trying his best to defend, trying himself to find a solution, going around as much as he can, but at the end he could not keep going. He had to give up. Guina, Guina. Yeah, I will search this country. I never heard of about it before. You know, by the way, sometime, if nobody heard about your country before, that's a good sign. <laughs> That means you are hurting nobody. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a good sign. That means you are not, you know, like the aggressive empires and their filth and they are disgusting interest, robbing poor countries. That means you are, you know, you are leaving people around, you know, by themselves. Uh, we are happy for this gentleman. And we hope that he will speak to his the sheikhs. They are not his sheikh no more. Obviously, he's out of Islam. Uh, and we hope that they will take the challenge and accept, and they will call me. And then you will see what will happen to them. But now, who want to bet that none of those sheikhs will dare to accept the challenge? Anyone think they will accept the challenge? I, I never heard of this country before. As I say, this is a good sign. This is not a bad sign. You know, you hear only, you know, in the news today, you don't hear uh, 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 like about countries unless there is something bad. So good for them. You know what I mean? You don't hear about countries usually unless there is something bad. I mean, the, the news is not the news of something good today. So if your country name is not mentioned in the news, good for you. You know? All right. I have, uh, I apologize, I cannot continue because really I have a little headache. And maybe because I did not eat since yesterday. You see, the Muslim, they fast Ramadan. I fast 24 hours a day. I did not eat since yesterday. Actually, more than a day because I ate yesterday was almost noon time. I don't have the time to eat, it's the bend. And how busy I am. So more than 24 hours, I did not eat. And now we did this. So it's time for me to go and cook something. And we pray that the Lord will open their eyes, will show them the truth, and the truth will set them free. And at the end, I wanna say thank you all for your support. And thank you for being here. And I hope more people will download my videos, add subtitles to your language. Feel free to use them in your channel. Even if you do have commercial in the top of your videos, as many they do, I don't mind. Good for you. But never claim that that channel is my channel. Just tell people that this is a video of Christian Prince. I am not Christian Prince channel. 
I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care.